All right, once again, welcome to the Raised in Baseball YouTube channel. The recent weeks, you've been getting a ton of requests for the Christmas Ideas video. Christmas Ideas video that's very popular. It's been popular every year. So we've got the biggest... We've got a bunch of stuff. Christmas video idea ever. Ever. we got a lot of stuff today. Like, so, why don't you just bring it out and let's start going. All right, let's go with the closest thing to me. Pine tar. Bruce Bolt pine tar, in my opinion is the stickiest pine tar I've ever seen that comes in like a stick. Like I've seen like the actual like tar that's in like a big bucket, but this is a stick. It's very, let's see. <laughs> I wouldn't touch it, yeah. that was a mistake. It is a mistake. <laughs> that's actually not that bad, but it's crazy sticky. So this stuff, I've got my friends who've tried it before and it's really funny every time they try it, they're like, oh, can I get some pine tar? I'm like, yeah, and I give it to them. And they take the thing out, there's a bottom, there's a button on the bottom, you push the button, and it comes out, and then you put it on your bat, and they always end up putting it on like it's regular pine tar, and the second that they feel their bat, they can like, go like that, and the bat is still on there. This sucks, I gotta put it back. I'm use the cap. Oh, finally came off. There we go. But, um, so yeah, crazy sticky pine tar, yeah. Crazy sticky pine tar is, in my opinion, the best in the business when it comes to Pine tar, uh, sticky stuff. A little bit goes a long way. Yeah. So Price on that? $25. $25. This is $25. It lasts a long time because you only use a little bit. You can see that the container has been used for a long time. The good thing about it is really, honestly, it, it, there's it, a lot of pine tar in here. It's a lot of pine tar and it it doesn't require a lot and it's not gross. You, you look at all that. lose it. I've used this a ton. Like this has been used for years and it's still Anyways, like that. 25 bucks. 25 bucks for this pine tar. Pine tar. And then another thing, Bruce Bolt, which is like besides their batting gloves, is they have arm sleeves. And in my opinion, their arm sleeves are the best arm sleeve that I've ever worn. They're uh, thick, but they're not too thick. Like I always have seen an arm sleeve that's like crazy thick and it's like uncomfortable to wear, like it pinches every time you close it. And then I've also seen an arm sleeve that is too tight, that's just like, just grips you, your veins are showing because it's constricting all your blood flow. So this is... How about the ones that are just like straight up nylon and aren't tapered at all and they're just kind of like... <laughs> they're just hanging like my sleeve. All it is is branding. That's all it is. I mean, honestly, even even a typical sleeve, even if it's like this tight, it's not really compression, dude. Yeah. So what this is, is medical grade compression. Look at that. Medical grade tapered compression. So I want you to notice something. Hold it up. <clears throat> You'll see the bicep. Tapers down forearm. into the forearm. So medical grade, four-way. It gets everything. Compression. Like, I, was, I was really impressed the first time I wore it. I just like, I'm a big fan of arm sleeves. I'm a big fan of drip, big fan of everything that comes with like accessories and um, arm sleeves are huge. Like, big I'd rather have, I'd rather have a arm sleeve that's like functional that doesn't look good, which this looks amazing and it's functional, than an arm sleeve that's you know, looks all right, but it just sucks, right? Like, I don't want to be going out and it's 50 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, and I warm up, and then I go back out there again and my arm's dead. That's why I love arm sleeves that keep your arm warm, so. Best of the business is? Bruce Bolt. Bruce Bolt. Bruce okay. Bolt. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. What do we got? Let's grab something else. Um, let's go with a bat. Let's okay. go with one-hand trainers. One-hand trainers. Huge things. I love one-hand trainers. I love one hand trainers too. Sometimes. Here's the thing about one hand trainers. They're hard. They're yeah. really hard. <clears throat> Until you get good at it, it's it's difficult, man. It's sometimes hard to hit one hand trainer off the tee, off of flips, off of you know, BP. It's tough. It's very tough. It's tough, especially BP. But even flips, it's tough. But I promise you this, if you can hit good with one, one hand, hand, you can hit with two. It would be really easy to hit with two. Knock the snot out of the ball with two hands. And so for this one, we've got two different variations. Axe Bat makes uh, two versions. That's the very short one. So if you're a smaller guy, and we've had this one for a long time, you can see some wear and tear on it. But honestly, just working path. That's the 18 inch. I think there's a 24. I'm going to look it up right now. But uh, if you're a smaller guy, if you're a guy that's 13, 14, you probably want to stick with the, the 18 inch. Uh, one hand trainer there from Axe It really makes you focus because it's so small. Like a lot of the big ones, you can just kind of like even with this one. This one's pretty small too. Like this is 18 inches. I'd say that's probably 24 if I had to guess. But um, yeah, even with the big ones, when you swing it, it's like you can be 
more forgiving because you have so big of a barrel. With this one, it's like you got to focus on where you hit the ball, and then you actually have to swing it hard. Otherwise, it's not the ball's not going to go anywhere. So, <clears throat> awesome value. All right. So it's it's eighteen. I just looked it up. It's eighteen or twenty two inches. Now that's only forty nine bucks. And the great thing about the one hand trainer from Axe, it's not going to break. So gives you really good feel working through. No sting. No. Um, it's just it's tough to hit. So. If you're, if you're not failing, you're not getting better. So that's actually a really good tool. I really believe in it. I need to be picking up the 20, the 22 inch from Axe. Again, 49 bucks. So 49 bucks from Axe. For an 18 or a 22, the price doesn't change. The price does not change. And then this right here is a Cam Wood Bat one hand trainer. Um, I've been a big fan of Cam Wood Bats. Um, they do a huge, huge deal when it comes to getting your bat speed up. They have a whole bat speed program online and uh, for me, the biggest thing is you can add weight. This bat has weight on it, which is a lot more than like any other one hand trainer, and you don't feel that weight. They have this back weight here, and they have this weight that's more towards your hand, so you are lifting more weight, swinging with more weight than you would with a normal bat, and you can't feel it. So if you're getting stronger without getting stronger. So it's all if that makes sense. Like you're getting stronger without knowing you're getting stronger. It's all the minute small muscles is what gives you, you know, connection and path and not having to worry about getting way far away when you've got a heavier bat. So for example, another great value is that's $54.95 on the Camwood Bats, <clears throat> camwoodbats.com uh, website. And you can pick your size, the one hand 20 inch, 23 ounce, or the 25 inch, would you say it was 24? This is like 25 probably. Yeah, no, it's yeah. not probably, that's definitely. Oh well, yeah, it's just, but you, yeah. You, you, you guessed it was 24, right? Yeah, that's pretty close. Pretty close, dude, so that's, close. that's the adult um, 25 inch, but it's 30 ounces, so it's a plus five um, one hand trainer. So, and it doesn't feel like it's- It does not feel like it's a 30 ounce bat. It's, it's pretty crazy. It doesn't feel like it's a heavy trainer. It's not a heavy trainer, but it is a heavy trainer. It is. So that is the Camwood Bats one hand trainer. $54.95 on the Camwood uh, website, which is camwoodbats.com. Cam Moving on. All right, let's grab, speaking of Camwoods, Ooh. supplements, huge deal. Supplements for me are something that allows you to stay on the field and then when you're off the field, recover faster to get back on the field again. So for me, uh, supplements are huge. Um, I drink this, this is the Camwood Bats Recovery. Um, it has BCAA, hydration, anti-inflammatory stuff in there. This one tastes like raspberry lemonade. Um, really good flavor. Um, a lot of the stuff that I've tried tastes really chalky, like really bad. This one tastes just like lemonade, like just like lemonade. I couldn't tell the difference if you had me a cup of lemonade and a cup of this. So, um, big fan of this one. I use this all the time when I'm playing. For me, it's one of the things that I love. They also have a pre-workout, which I also use. Uh, I didn't bring that over here. It's in the pantry right there. but. I'm a huge, huge fan of this. So they do a great job of <clears throat> quality. The, the price on it, let me look up here real quick. The price on it currently looks like it's 20% off. $49.95, there are 30 um, servings per container. So you're looking at $1.10, $1.15 per scoop, but it has a ton of Great stuff. And not only does it have a ton of great stuff, it has a ton of great stuff in the right quantity. Yeah. And it tastes good. That's what happens a lot of times. You'll get stuff that says like BCAA or creatine or whatever's in it, but there's not actually enough of that in there to do anything, anything to your body. So it's always nice when you can find a supplement, even if it's like, like cost a little bit more, but it has everything in it that you need and it has the right amounts. That work together. It's huge. Because like if you get like, there was, there was a pre-workout that I had and it was supposed to get you like... Not only just pumped up, but it was supposed to get you, like, your muscles moving better. And I remember I showed it to my trainer. He was like, "Trash." this does absolutely nothing for Trash. you. He's like, you might feel your hands shaking and tingling, but he's like, that's all it's doing. You're not getting anything out of it. So it's yeah. nice to uh, nice to get the stuff that actually has what you need and how much you need. But that's, a, that's a good product right there. It's uh, Camwood Supplements Recovery and using it in-game throughout the game or throughout the tournament. It's way better than, dude, I'm telling you right now, what we figured is per scoop, $1.10, that's cheaper than Gatorade, has way better stuff than Gatorade. Look at the ingredients in Gatorade. 
There's trash it's just and sugar and salt. It's sugar, and there's not even a lot of it. It's just a ton of sugar, barely any salt. It I mean it tastes good, but it's like there's no. What's it really doing for you? Like minute amounts of potassium, minute amount of not zinc, even maybe, on a regular one. Minute amounts of zinc. You've got two hundred milligrams of magnesium, three milligrams of zinc. Your salt, which has to be because you sweat out the salt at 100 milligrams, potassium's at 80 milligrams. There's anti-inflammatory blends, hydration blends, and recovery blends in it. There's Anyways, we've talked about it for a long time. Uh, CamwoodSupplements.com, the website CamwoodSupplements.com, at $49.95. Great Christmas idea. You'll be buying more of it once you try it, I promise. So it's check good. that out. Let's go to a bat. <clears throat> this right here is a Homewood bat. Um, I got this about a week and a half ago, swung it a couple times, and this is one of, if not the hottest bat that I've ever swung. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the wood and the finish. I mean, all of it, really, that's a wood bat. So, this bat is a birch bat. Nope. Sorry, ash. Ash bat. Well, you can tell it's I know, the grains. The grains and it's flames. So, that's beautiful. I don't know what I was thinking right there, but ash bat. This one has one of the fewest rings I've ever seen in ash bat. I have two more back in my room, which are... Seven and six grains, which is unheard of. It's like a unit match. Like I'm not swinging those bats until hopefully I get to the major leagues. Like those <laughs> bats will not pull out of my room until I get. It's get pretty there. special stuff. So um, he typically does swing birch and I maple. swing birch a lot. I think that's why I said it. Uh, but, but yeah, that's kind of like birch is one of those woods that you kind of break in over the first thirty to sixty days, and once you have sixty days in, it's it's super hot. It's forgiving like uh, ash. The problem with ash and why it's kind of fallen out of favor is one the ash. It flakes the ash bore, which has attacked the ash wood industry. It's uh, killing all the trees. And then the next thing is it, it flakes over time. So you get this beautiful bat that you uh, swing and you hit and you love. And you love the sound. You love the, the feel of it. You love how it jumps off the bat. And then it starts falling apart because yeah. of uh, right in between the grains they start separating. So uh, it's, it's a beautiful piece of wood. It's a traditional piece of wood. This is actually Bobby Witt's um, bat. Model. Bobby Woods model. Yep. So shout out, shout out to Bobby, the big Bobo Bobo. Wick, uh Colleyville kid playing for the Royals right now. So he's a big uh, user of Homewood bats. And so let's uh, they're hot. <clears throat> let me look that one up. So Homewood they're crazy bats. hot bats. So I was I was surprised. Ash is hot right out of the box. Like the first swings that you take with it are going to be the hottest swings that you take with it. So uh, I was very impressed with what this bat had to offer. It hits bombs. So that is a uh, pro model, and it is uh, 179. 179. So again, good value. Like everything that we've shown so far has been crazy, crazy good value. Homewood bats. That is Homewood bat. Not bats. Homewood bat. Dot com. Dot com. Let's go mm -hmm. stocking stuffer. Stocking stuffers are good. Boom. There's one. We're gonna have a variety of things available. Ah. Ooh. Boom. From really Two. cheap to kind of expensive, but it's an investment in your, your sport. All right, let me get these out real quick. So these are called Thumb Pros. Took me a minute to change the way I say that. They were named Thumb Purr for a very long time. I personally prefer the name Thumb Purr. I think it's... I mean, they're both good. But, see, these ones still have Thumb Purr on it. <laughs> That's these funny. have Thumb Pro on it. Yeah, so uh, these are Thumb Purr, Thumb Pros. You put them on your thumb. So a lot of people know pro hitters. Me personally, I could not swing with them. They just felt so uncomfortable. And when I tried this, I swing with this all the time. So you put it on your thumb. You take it like this, put it on your thumb, and then it fits kind of in a little crease right there. Uh, fits perfectly. If it doesn't fit perfectly, they have other, other sizes. So if you have a bigger crease, you get a bigger size. If you have a smaller one, then you can get a smaller size. So it fits right in there. And then when you grab, just grab this back. Sneak peek. You Sneak grab, peek. You grab your bat, it fits it's right in there. You close your hand, and it gives you, in my opinion, it gives me a little bit more whip. And then when I hit a ball here or here, I don't feel it as much as I would if I didn't have it on. So it's definitely saved me a lot of stinging hands, especially when it's getting closer to winter and you got colder weather. So I'm a huge fan of the Thumb Pro. They you have feel like... Does it do anything for your swing? Does it help your swing or does it really just in your I opinion? really feel like it just gives you a lot of whip. Like it gives you a lot of whip and it kind of helps you stay inside the ball too. So uh, these things last a crazy long time. I've never had one rip on me ever. Uh, the material that they make it out of is really good. Uh, haven't had anything flake or anything. They have a bunch of different uh, designs too, different colors. 
Uh, this one has my logo in it, actually. Um, that's one of the cool things that they did for me was they put my logo inside one of them. So, But that's another thing. The way people treat you as a customer or consumers is huge. huge. So whether you stand behind a product or a handwritten note, like these came with a handwritten note, which is it's special, man. Like You want to help those companies and support those companies that are willing to do an extra mile, to go the extra mile to ensure that their customers are happy, that they know that they're not just a number, they're not just, hey, we just got money from this yeah. guy. It's that the fact that they care about you. It. <clears throat> it's 25 bucks. That kind of seems to be like the... $25. Let me see. Let me verify. Ooh. They've got... Uh, oh, my. They have a bunch of different... The, the thumb guards. The blue bomber. Yeah, they got a few different ones. So they got a twenty four ninety nine. That's available in one, two, three, four, five, six. The blue bomber. What's the that blue was, bomber? You just saw it. Okay, so that's just what they're calling yeah. it. The so it has red. six different colors. There's a red, white, blue, black, uh, green, and orange. There you go. Available in three different sizes: small, medium, and large. I've seen, I've seen some that were like, a, a mid, they may have some limited runs because I've seen people wearing them that are like bright pink. And these ones are neon green, and I'm a big fan of bright colors, so works out well for me. So again, you're looking at twenty four ninety nine. Have you did you did you ever break one? Have I've you? never broken one. So in all the times that you've been using, you've never. I've been using it for about two years, never broke one. Bro, have you been using it since they first came out? Maybe more than two, dude. Time is so well I don't fast. know. It's more than two it's years. It's a newer company. More than two years for sure. <clears throat> but um, what else was I going to say? They have a size guide on their uh, on their website. Like I know I said sizes, and it's kind of hard to. It's impossible to tell from here. But if you go on their website, they have a size guide. And then they also have a deal going on right now. Uh, it says buy two, save 12%. And the most popular is buy three, save 15%. And it ships free in the U.S. So uh, get a bunch of different colors, get some discounts and free shipping. Pretty good deal. So the website is baseballthumbguard.com. $24.99. Good stock and suffers. Pretty good. Next, let's go glove. I haven't done a glove yet. Ooh, this is a training glove. This is a Valley training glove. I'm a huge fan of this. Every time that I use practice fielding, this thing's with me. I've been using it a ton lately. And the biggest thing for me about this glove is the fact that it's weighted. A lot mm. of the training gloves that you have out there, you put it on your hand and it's like there's nothing on your hand. And for me, that was something that I used to work on or like that I would use when I was working on quick hands. And I would sit there with like, they had a model, they have a ton of models that aren't weighted. And I would sit there and I would just be working on my quick hands and then I'd put on my actual glove and I wouldn't be able to do it because my glove was so much heavier than the training glove that I was using. But now they have weights inside of the glove which make it actually for me slightly heavier than the glove that I use. So when I take it off, it's like I'm moving faster which is great. Um, great feeling, it makes you be quicker to the spot when you have the glove on and then when you take it off, you're already there. So it's just kind of over-exaggerating movements, making it feel like your pocket presence. I don't know if that's ever been said before, but like you know where you need to catch the ball. That's a great, so. great term. So they talk about a kill spot in the glove or pocket presence, if you want to call it that. That's actually a great name. Is just knowing where that pocket is so you can kill the ball from slopping, slop, slopping out. Slipping out. That's a um, Pro 975 WT, which is the weighted. The Pro designates that it's kip leather. So <clears throat> this is like an actual glove. Like this isn't anything that's like a lot of training gloves are kind of like plasticky feeling, like um, just not leather. This is high grade, good, high quality leather. And so this glove is good. You're going to pay on the same one. So you've got the unweighted and the weighted. You recommend the? I recommend the weighted. That is an additional, it looks like $51 to get a weighted glove. $269.95. For the Valley Pro 975 WT, which is weighted, weighted. Kip leather. Kip Not leather. like a cheesy, cheap glove. It is a legit leather. This could be, like, a, if you wanted to glove. use this in a game, you could. Like, this wouldn't be anything like you catch a ball and it like flops back. This is an actual glove. So, for that, <clears throat> they also have the um, non kip, which goes down to. So, the, the unweighted one's 218. That one's. Six or fifty-one dollars more. The regular Eagle, non-pro, non-kip, uh, steer hide, uh, ninety-seven is one fifty-nine. So steer hide versus kip, one fifty-nine. So you're gonna save um, some money there. Not available in uh, weighted, I believe. There it is. It is weighted. So the new Eagle nine seven five. It says brand new on their website. 
The non-kip version, Steer Hide uh, Eagle, is one ninety four ninety five. So, so it's about you're at sixty one dollars. So I would honestly, if you can, I would spend the extra money be, just because of how much easier it is to field after you take it off. The habits that you're creating when it's weighted are really good. It's like when you're swinging a heavy bat, right? Like you have to really focus on what you're doing, otherwise the bat's gonna swing you. Same thing with the weighted glove. You really gotta focus on the movements that you're making, otherwise you're gonna go for a backhand, you're gonna get the glove their way, it's gonna hit off, and you're not gonna catch the ball. So. It's, it's what values, they do training gloves, man. That's what they shine at. Um, <clears throat> they have so many tools. Bats, gloves. Fungo bats, they got a bunch of hitting screens too. Every good, high quality facility I've ever been in has a valley hitting screen. So, um, and then you have like Kai Korea. They've got some good, good instructional stuff on um, their their website. You know, they've got um, Kai Korea is their big one. Craig Driver, um, Lou Cologne, another great uh, Instagram account. But go check them out. Uh, the website is Valley, V-A-L-L-E, V-A-L-L-E, sportinggoods.com. Check out the trainers from Valley. Moving on, we've got batting gloves. Batting gloves are huge. Getting you a high quality pair of batting gloves lasts a long way, goes a long way, I should say. And they make your hands feel great when you're hitting, keep you from getting blisters, and Bruce Bolt is the best in the game, by far, in my opinion. They're just... Uh, leather's the best that you can get. The actual padding that's on your hands, I've never gotten a blister in the past three years since I've been using it from hitting. I've gotten a couple from weightlifting, never from hitting. So um, let's open these up. These are the TC42 model. They have a bunch of different colorways. These are TC42, black and red. Long cuff. Um, these are the long cuffs. They have long cuffs and short cuffs. So the, price to, uh, the price varies on both of them. I know a lot of people don't like the actual long cuff for me. I'm a huge fan of it. It's like having wrist tape on without having wrist tape on. So uh, biggest things for these, everything is double stitched, which is a big thing for me. Every batting glove that I've used that was any good is double stitched because what happens is if one seam rips, you have another seam that's holding that piece of leather on and keeping your batting gloves from ripping. And speaking of ripping, I've never had one of these rip in the three years, four years that I've been using it. That was the glove's fault. Uh, all, every single time it's been my fault, which That's has true. been twice. I forgot to take them off on the base path, playing on some rough dirt, sliding to second base head first, and the thumb is just like <gasps> gone. So you need to be careful when you're wearing them on dirt and turf sometimes. It will uh, fray, especially on, on dirt. Like the bottom uh, laces here will go. Take so them off, man. Be careful. Put your oven mitt on and yeah. uh, use them. So the youth model uh, for the long cuff is $90. The adult version is $100. The short cuff, uh, $70. That says from $70. And the website is brucebolt.us. So let's talk about this. Everyone is kind of like, the biggest punch that you get when they're like, oh no, Bruce Bolts are? They're so expensive. Okay. How many gloves do you use typically in a year? Me? Mm -hmm. Probably go through three pairs. Okay, and when you say you go through... It's because they stink. Like, I'm lucky that I have the ability to go through pairs like that, like three pairs, but if I didn't care about the smell, I would never have gone through a pair. And what have you done to take care of not getting that stench? I buy three pairs and I switch them out every time I hit. So I'll have one that I use... I have one sitting in my bag right now that I use today. I have one sitting in my bag that I used yesterday, and then I have one that was two days ago. And every single day I just switch them out. And it's really nice, especially for my high school right now, we're doing a ton of hitting. So your hands get all sweaty and your batting gloves get all soggy. So if you give them time to air out uh, in the open, don't just leave them stuffed in a little bag. Ooh. But if you actually leave them out in the open, let them air out a little bit, they end up smelling and looking a lot better. Let me see that one. So that's the, that is the really the biggest thing, guys, is let them dry out. Let them dry out. So if you keep it on a rotation of three, Think Even about two. how long did your gloves typically last before using Bruce Bolt? And I can tell you, I'm not going to say the brands. It was bad. Like we, we just eventually started giving up on buying like legitimate batting gloves because I'd go through them so fast. So like I would go through, I got lucky if I went through one every two weeks. There you go. Lucky. I put my hand here because I was like, it's going to be, I didn't want you to see it. Yeah. But I, it's every two weeks they were ripping. I got really lucky. You know, I went through one or two weeks. and so if you, if you pay 
10, 15 bucks. It's not even that. Good luck finding those. Was it those. more? Was I thought more. we went in on clearance. I would try and find some on clearance and you try and buy them. But if you go every two weeks and you're replacing them at $15 a pop, that's $30, $30 a month. A month 12 months. That's 360 bucks. I would much rather have a high quality, good batting glove that if you buy three, it's going to be $300 if you get those in the long cuff pros. $300 and they last you the entire year and don't wear out and they feel good while you're hitting instead of having like laces rub up against you, the little stitching, just it's not a great. good feeling. It's great. The fact that they have articulation here in the, in the uh, <clears throat> fingers is great so you don't... A lot of batting gloves, I want you to notice this now. When you squeeze your batting gloves, you're going to notice if you don't have articulation in the fingers, you're going to notice there's a lot of pressure that come across the back of your knuckles. Okay, and especially if you had a thinner thinner uh, handle where you have to close the, the grip bad. more. It's really bad. You'll start getting like... You'll feel them on the back here. You'll start getting like little blisters. It's the worst feeling in the world. You'll start getting little blisters on the top of your knuckles. And it hurts. Anyways, you don't want to get any of that stuff. You don't want blisters. Yeah. You want comfort. You don't want to feel anything when you're hitting. You want to focus on the ball that's coming at you so you can just do what you do and do some damage. So. And one more thing about Bruce Bolt. They have the best customer service. They are yep. huge on returns. You have any issue at all, you talk to them and they'll get it figured out. So That's the other thing. Again, we talk about like taking care of people. They're a great Never company. have come across the business. That takes care of people like them. That takes care, care of people like them. They are like that's it's impressive. Like honestly, it's impressive how many customers they have that they're able to take care of every single one of them, get returns in, ask questions, answer questions, everything about it is just amazing. They do a great job. So they that is Bruce job. Bolt TC42. <clears throat> so that's the uh, website, BruceBolt.us, not .com. BruceBolt.us. Moving on, let's go to a bat. Moving on to a bat. We got a Chandler bat. So I got this. What are you thinking, a month ago? Yep. Got this a month ago, Globe Life Field. Uh, I've been talking to them a long time, trying to get one of these bats. All of my friends that are really good at hitting have one, and I was like, dude, maybe it's the bat. I'm kidding. But I wanted to try it out, and it lived up to my expectations. Every single thing about this bat was very nice. The finish, from the finish all the way down to just the way that it feels. So the wood itself, really good, high-quality wood. Uh, this one is a maple bat. Um, Good finish here. A lot of the things that I look for on wood bats, nobody would really think of. And it was really funny when I picked up um, at it was at Globe Life Field during a Best in the U.S. event, but they had a whole like booth full of bats. And I picked it up, and I was sitting there for about 20 minutes just picking up every bat and looking at it. And this is the one that I decided on because of a tiny little thing. You probably mm. won't see it on the camera. A tiny little thing, right there. It's called a knot. So what it means is there was a bunch of tree branch, right there, and it grew out of wherever this bat came from, and it makes that part of the bat super dense. So it gives it a little bit more end load, and it means that it's hot. So that's why I picked this one up. The wood itself was really nice. The finish was insane, and the model was very nice. I think this is the this is the Juan Soto. Yeah, everyone thinks like a knot is, is a bad thing, and it is It is thing. depending on where it is. If you get one there, you get one here or here. It's a bad thing, because what happens is that's the first place to snap. But if you get it here and there's a ton of wood around it, it's perfect. That's really Perfect. dense. So, and that was actually a really unique model because... He said that it was like they did something wrong where this one is a different... That's a Ronald Acuna Acuna knob, knob with a Soto barrel instead of Soto all the way throughout. Because so. the Soto model has a much bigger... It's a typical um, standard taper where it has a, a bigger uh, ridge right around the knob. Yeah, they right? said it was like a crazy thin, <clears throat> crazy thin leading up into... It almost felt like a wooden... Or not a wooden, a metal bat kind of handle feel. This one is more of a wood bat tapered feel, which I, I enjoy. So that one you're looking at uh, 229. That's for a custom. For a custom. Right? So you can customize it completely. So 229 for a custom. Um, they also have something like in their finish that makes it it's crazy a hard. Finish. Like it makes it insanely hard. So wood bats itself, if you get a maple, they're already really hard. So the wood itself, it's gonna be loud. It's not going to be soft, and it's going to hit balls far. They added something to their finish, which make there's like a name for their. Do you know the name of their finish? XP, I believe. XP. So I this it XP. goes inside the wood grain. It makes it bond tighter, and it just <laughs> makes it ten times louder. Like it's gunshots every time you hit the bat. So, 
What do we got? So their standard there model, go. if you're gonna do like a standard model, it's a uh, one. This is a standard model. This one's their, it says RA, but I don't know. That's the RA paint job with the Acuna actual model. So uh, this is 199. All their stock bats are 199. And customs 220. So for, for $30 more, you get a custom bat. Yep. So pretty, pretty nice setup there. Uh, website, Chandler Bats. The sound, it's head turning. And it's let's be honest. loud. You want to turn people's heads when you're hitting. You're hitting in the cage. It's the best feeling I've ever felt. You're hitting in the cage. You hit two or three balls, and all of a sudden you look around, and there's like 50 people just staring at you. Like, who is this guy? Who is he? He's hitting them far. Dropping so. bombs. Chandler Bats. So it's ChandlerBats.com. Ooh, I just saw that too. It says all handcrafted Chandler Bats include a 60-day guarantee. So cool. that's, that's pretty cool. Let's move on to another stocking stuffer. This right here is the T Claw. I got this a very long time ago, and what it is, it's very important. So, what it is, is you set it up in the ground. I'll get them out real quick. They have these little claws. So, if you're using, if you're using them on turf or grass, it works the same. Um, I can't really show you close up, but they have little ridges on the spikes on the bottom, and you take it and you twist it into the ground. So when you twist it in, it won't move. It's not going to wobble or anything. It's going to stick in there. And what you do is you take one end of it, take your little string. It's like an elastic string. It's stretchy. You take it and you put it around your little thing. I'm going to move on to the other one. This one's already set up. So you take it and you put it around the thing. And what happens is as you pull on it, it's going to... Oh, this one's already set up. You take it, it's going to pull, and it'll make a line. So for me, it's a big thing for fielding, getting my direction towards first in the least amount of steps possible. It's also a good thing if you have somebody that's uh, like stepping out when they're hitting or stepping forward when they're hitting, you can set it up and instead of it being, um, like instead of them striding back like this, you can have them see a visual line where they need to step. And for me, I'm a very visual kind of learner. Like I need to see it. I need to know where I need to go. So it's a huge tool for me. And if you need a, a longer... They come in longer not, sizes too. Or you can just connect them at the bottom right here. You just piggyback on them. So do we have another open yep, in on right this? There. So if I wanted to increase this one, you just kind of feed it through, through feed it through to create a longer loop. Like that. But I've been using these for a very long time. They have like, um, I know long drive people use it. You can put a T right here. That's actually what it's made for. You take it, you put it in the ground, and then you put like a golf tee right there. And when you hit it, instead of you losing your tee, it'll just fly off and come right back. So if you're into golfing too, this could be a good. I didn't know they do that. You didn't know that? Mm -mm. I've seen people at uh, the Can't gym. use it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I like it <clears throat> from a coaching's perspective. Uh, the 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 four pack, which is what you have right here, the four pack is $22.95. If you want a mixed pack of green and yellow lanyards, additional ones, those are $12.95. They just basically, with a quick twist, go into turf or go into grass, hold the line, and it gives you a visual of where you need Where to. did I stride as a pitcher, right? Hey, how many times do you see the guys, you know, when they stride, they're striding open. When they stride, they're coming across their body. Uh, when you're fielding, uh, you're, you're swiping and pulling this way when the ball is coming here and you're trying to ride that line through just like you would as a hitter trying to ride that, that pitch line uh, to stay in contact as long as possible, tool. right? So it's a great visual tool. It's something that's simple. But it's really effective. It's like, effective really and it's good. important. That a lot of, it's the details that matter, man. It's what separates people. It's what separates athletes. It's, set, it's what separates people in employment is the details. Do the detailed work. So twenty two ninety five on the website. For a four pack. For a four pack, um, claws and lanyards, extra lanyards, twelve ninety five. Uh, T claw, T E E claw dot com. So there you go. All right, let's grab. Let's do some gloves. I've got a couple of gloves over here that I'm gonna grab. Three gloves actually. Let's put these up here. So these are gloves. Gloves are the, in my opinion, favorite, it's a favorite thing for me to get at Christmas. I open, I see a glove, my Christmas is made, like, instantly. So, um, these are Rawlings gloves. This one is a uh, DJ LeMayhew glove. This one is a Rev. And this one is a custom glove. 
So um, the custom glove deadline, I think that already gone. That already happened. So if you did gone, if you did not order a custom glove already, then you were not going to get one in time for Christmas, unfortunately. But you can still get, ask for. You can still get a custom glove. I would like a custom glove for Christmas, and even if it comes late, yeah, it's on its way. So and the sooner the better, man. So if you do it right now, it's guaranteed. It was guaranteed, I think, on the eighth. It yeah. was guaranteed to get to you by Christmas so two on, days ago on the eighth. If you do it today. It'll get to you maybe a week or two after. Whatever it is, right? It it's usually four to six weeks. Christmas has a rush. It's tough. So you are late, but who doesn't want, hey, can I get a new glove? Yeah, so custom glove deadline is passed, um, but you can still order custom gloves. It's not like you can't order a custom glove. So right. you can still get that. Um, one of the newest things from Rawlings is their revs. Um, it's like a new wave. It's something that the baseball glove industry has never seen before. The material that's on the back of it has never been seen before. They have technology inside the actual stalls, which on this one stays. Stays. My bad. There you go. Uh, here, this bends, right? Like it can bend. I can mold it. Typically, felt inside the stays in the and that breaks down. It breaks down over time. But you get the rev, and it has kind of like a. I don't really know how to even describe it. They showed it to me. It's 4D printed. The 4D, same is stuff. That a thing. I think so. 3D, 3D, 3D printed. It smells. <laughs> it's a uh, 3D printed uh, material. It's like I can squish it, but I can't. Like it'll hold if you hold it there. Like if you keep working on it, but it's going to eventually. It's gonna. It's gonna hold up. So it's not gonna break down. Yeah, and that's what's great about not being felt. Felt is wool, smashed down. wool, compressed wool, uh, and it's traditionally been used in gloves forever. Uh, but eventually, these two areas will break down with the felt, which is wool. Sometimes they put a piece of plastic sandwiched in two pieces of felt to try and hold the shape a little bit longer. Uh, it's also what allows you to flex your felt pad and have it stay flared or pushed in, closed off, um, a little easier than what they do with the, the Rev because it's a natural wool product. So the, <coughs> the Revs are... These are $399.95. They have four different models. They have a infield slash pitcher's glove, which has a all, it's just like all black with like some carbon, like silver chrome type of like details on it. It also has a like full um, blacked out, like a pitcher's web. Like you can't see the ball inside of there. Um, all of these are $395. They have a infield glove that's a 11 and, and three quarter. This one is, this one isn't on there, is it? No, that was an exclusive. So that's another reason to always kind of check on Rawlings.com. If we go to the website right now, Rawlings.com, you go to gloves and you go to exclusives, which will be at the bottom of that tab. Uh, so if you go to gloves under series and have exclusive, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, There's a lot. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, There's a lot. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, Dad. There's, All right, there's, there's, there's a lot. There's 37 exclusive gloves that you will only find on Rawlings.com. So it's always cool to see what's new on the customizer and what's new on the exclusive gloves. Another big feature on these is the laceless palm. So this entire thing is laceless. They also have a laceless web at the top. Like you can't see, um, there's no laces. Like a lot of times, like even on this one, you have to wrap around at the top right here. This one does not have that. So that's the Rev. And then this one, I just wanted to show, this is another thing that I think a lot of people undervalue. And that's taking care of your glove. Like your glove is, for me, it's like a baby. Like you gotta take care of it. You gotta feed it, you gotta do everything. Gotta so, feed it. Yeah, this is feeding your glove. So. Uh, you got to take care of it. And for me, that involves cleaning your glove, conditioning your glove, and just keeping it safe, keeping it dry. Um, and the way that you do that is when you're done using your glove. Like say that I played on a dirt field. I played on a dirt field. It was hot. My glove got all sweaty. I went and I dove for a ball, and I have red dirt all over my glove. I need to get that dirt off, otherwise it's going to cause some problems for my glove. I need to clean, I need to keep my glove aired out so that that sweat doesn't just sit in there and rot my glove out. So what I would do with that is leave it, I'd let it dry, and then I would take 
my glove cleaner. I have glove cleaner down there. I'll pull it out in a second. But you put it on, you get it clean, and then when you're done cleaning it, you condition it. So you put all the moisture that you just took out of the cleaner, you put it back in. And a lot of times that I've seen people with gloves that are like, ooh, good save. Thank you. A lot of things that I've seen are people with older gloves or even some newer gloves that they just didn't take care of. They've got cracks all over the leather. It cracks in the palm. Typically you're, that's where you're gonna find it first is in the palms. It is bad. If like, you look inside the palms, you'll see right in, in this area, it's gonna be all cracked up and eventually the finger saws are gonna rot out. What happened to you? Happened <laughs> he to didn't me. know about it. So my uh, glove is it's old. Like, it's like 20 some odd years old. So but the biggest thing <clears throat> that I think a lot of people undervalue is taking care of your gloves. So that involves conditioner. You need to find a good conditioner. This right here is glove oleum. And they have um, Rawlings has glove oleum um, spray, they have glove oleum oil, they have glove oleum glove balm. Um, they have glove treatment, which is a spray. They have Damn, glove conditioner, and they have glove rub. The price ranges anywhere from twelve ninety five on down to glove oleum oil uh, three ninety five. So great sonic suffers. Treat, tell your kids and show them how to take care, take of, their care of their gloves. Pig um, pig bristle brushes. I've which seen are gentle enough to to brush off the dirt and the mud. Do it, man. Not clean, your clean your stuff. I've seen people that have had gloves last them from when they were 11 years old all the way throughout high school and sometimes into college just because they take care, take there was, care of their gloves. There was just, I forgot who the interview was with, but the guy was like, this is my gamer. Now you don't practice with the gamer, right? Because literally this guy, he's used his gamer for 11 years and I can't remember the guy. Tulo was notorious. He had his glove and it was like duct taped and gnarly on the inside, but that's what he used. Troy Tulowitzki used the same glove and it was falling apart. Um, but if you take care of your glove, you can absolutely 100% use them forever. You can use them in practice. I'm just saying this one specific guy just had didn't. a gamer and he's been using it for 11, 12, 13 years, whatever it is. One glove. Take care of your stuff. Yep. All right. Moving on. What do you got? I'm going to keep on with the glove products. I'm going to stand up and grab these real quick. These are ball player bomb glove conditioner, glove cleaner, and this one is the game ready glove cleaner. So the difference between all of these is so that you have the glove conditioner, which conditions your glove. It gets those cracks. If you keep putting it on, it will um, prevent those cracks from ever happening. This is the game ready glove conditioner. The difference between this one and, oh, sorry, I got it backwards. The difference between the glove conditioner and the game ready glove conditioner is the game ready one is slightly stickier. And it's really funny because you put it on your glove and it's like, oh, okay, that's not that, that's not that big of a difference. But then the next day you take it out and it's like, Holy cow. But like, let's not be honest, I mean, it's not like spider tack, right? It's not, but it's it's noticeably stickier. I think what it does is it really... It lasts. It, it helps, I just think it helps kill the spin a little yeah. bit. So when you have a brand new glove, like when it's completely brand new, none of the dirt's in it, it hasn't been like affected by the, the turf or the dirt that you play in or the, the friction between the, the ball, Eventually it gets scuffed up and that's really what gives you some traction on that glove. When you have a brand new glove, a lot of times it just doesn't, it wants doesn't to spin work. right out, right? So, so you put some of that on and it fixes a lot of the problems that you have with the glove, the right. ball spinning out. And then another thing with their glove cleaner, which I'm a huge fan of, like this is the best glove cleaner that I found. Um, you put it on your glove and I had a glove that was white and this was, I know the color white's good, it's good for shoes, it's good for gloves, but it goes from white to camel. Like it goes from white to kind of the skin color because of the dirt. But you put glove cleaner on it, you get the pig, pig little bristles on pig there. Bristle, yeah. And it makes your glove go from being that camel color to almost being back to white again. And I was really surprised when I put it on my glove that was basically almost dirt brown. I put it on there and it turned back basically into white. So. I think after you clean it about three times, I don't think you're ever going to get it to go back it to white. It won't ever go back to white, but it'll get very close. It almost gets you like a, a light bluish hue white, I think, once it's really clean. Yeah. I, mean, that's I, kinda, I have it in my that's room. That's what they it's, call it, is like a blue patina to a white glove. And it's it not kinda, blue. It's not It's not blue. It's just kind of like... This bluish hue to a white. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like dishes, like ceramic dishes, something like that. But Anyway, so you've got know. glove cleaner. You've got typical... Once you're... I, in my opinion, you know, I don't know how you feel about it or anybody else in the glove business feels about it. But once you, once you've got it scuffed up and 
You've caught a bunch of balls on it. You don't I, really need. I really like the regular glove con yeah. uh, conditioner. You don't need the game ready. New gloves, 100%, I think you need to be using the, the, the game, game ready, ready for the first time through. So there's that. <laughs> okay, so again, you've got three different products. The website, Ball Players with an S. Ballplayersbomb.com. And then you have the three pack, which is this right here. All three of these, this is $35 for the three of these. And then if you also want, they have something called a Grand Slam combo, which is all, was that four? Yeah. They, they got have, a ton of stuff, they holy have, cow. They have a, the Grand Slam combo for $85. $85. Gets you your glove cleaner, which is right there. Boom. It gives you your glove conditioner right Boom. there. It got you your uh, game ready glove conditioner. A 3.5 ounce uh, bat tack. They got pine tar. Pine tar stick. A four ounce grip, grip gunk, gunk. <laughs> which is literally a combination pine tar between. And rosin. I'd like to see that one actually. That'd to be, be good. Pine tar and rosin. I don't know how messy or sticky that is. But you've got a hog hair brush and a horse hair brush. So and that'll deep clean your glove. So the hog hair is more stiff. The horsehair is a little bit uh, softer on your glove. So uh, it says a combo value of $100, you're getting it for 85 bucks. So um, yeah, the website the again is? Ballplayersbomb.com. And it looks like you can order they everything. They have a ton of products. Singular stuff, you can order combo packs. You can order the um, the brushes themselves. They're $8 for the um, horsehair or for the um, hog hair. Uh, they got some hats got some drip anyways lots of good stuff on there go check them out it is ballplayersbomb.com.com with the s ballplayersbomb.com yep right. moving on let's go to a bat this right here is the easton encore um hybrid yeah you're right easton encore hybrid. hybrid so this bat is insanely hot i've been using it for about two months now i got it a little bit before it came out <clears throat> and it hits nukes like yep. just absolutely destroys baseballs uh this is slightly unloaded and it has a very nice knob i've always been a fan of easton's uh i need to see it has an actual name a soft power boost i don't know it, there was a name for it it's like a flex knob or something soft comfort but it's like you pick it up and the knob is kind of like mushy so a lot of times there's knobs on certain bats where it's like metal and you Swing and it hurts your hurts your hand. This one's very comfortable to swing. It's got a ton of pop. You ready? Here's what they call it right there. Power boost soft knob. That's probably how I would describe it if I didn't know the name. So soft knob, really nice feeling when it's in your hands. Got a really nice stock grip on it. Um, it's hot. The when bat it goes. itself is super hot. If you can get it around, it's slightly unloaded. But if you can get it around, it hits bombs. I don't know about slightly. And I would say it's more unloaded than balanced. I would say that too, but I don't think it's crazy and loaded. It's not like no, uh, no, no. I wouldn't say it's like it's like not like a fifty-one. Fifty-one fifty is a bomb dropper, but you better be a dude. Yeah, this is who can more, swing. That I would bat. say this is like I said, slightly unloaded. It's not crazy yeah. unloaded, but it's not balanced either. Like you got to yeah. be able to like swing it. It gives you enough mass, I think, at the end, and that's that's the key, right? You need to have enough mass at the end to be able to send the ball. Mm -hmm. But you got to be able to get it there. You got to be able to get it there. And if you can't control that mass at the end, then you're not going to hit the ball. You're not going to hit the ball. You need to go more to a more balanced bat that gives you more control. So when you hit it, that sucker is hot. It hits bombs. So Easton Encore Hybrid, the price point is? Up, up, up. $399.95. Yep. So Available. they have 31, 32, 33, and 34 inch bats for BB Core. Um, and yeah, it hits bombs. Two piece hybrid aluminum. Uh, barrel so yeah, it's it's nice and then they have the um, U-Trip drop 5 and the U-Trip uh, drop 10 so uh, those are $300 for the drop 5 and drop 10s if you are listen listen to me if you are a player who is 10 years old please use a drop 5 I've heard so many, like even at my school this year, freshmen, these guys are 15, maybe 14 coming in. They're swinging drop eights, drop. What are we doing? Drop eights going into high school just because they can. They think like, oh, I'm going to hit the balls farther. No, they can't. They can't in high school. But the point well, is no, they never like transitioned in. But like I knew, I knew one of my friends, um, he went swinging a drop eight going into high school and then he had to switch to a drop three within like two months. Good luck. And that's at Good the luck. time. 
I mean, at the time, it felt like it's it's crazy. Like your first time swinging a drop three, it's like you've got the heaviest bat in the world. Don't get a start on a rant so, because I'm just telling you right yeah. now. How long have you been swinging a drop three? I can tell you the answer because you're probably not going to remember it. Five years. What age? 11, 12. 12. Yeah. So it's good to get used to it. Um, when you're little, you know, you want to swing the lightest bat that you can because you have no strength. And they drop but bombs. Let's be honest. Those drop you, tens and those drop fives. Yeah, they those do. Drop but eights. the second you get to the three, you're hosed. The ball, ball doesn't go anywhere compared to the other ones and it's heavy. So Yeah, and you, you look gotta, like you can't hit a baseball now. Yeah. Yeah, because true. the BB core bats don't have nearly as much jump, and you've done no, you've not done yourself a service by, you know, using a. You might think bat, you're cool because you hit bombs, but like the second that you get that drop three, I'd rather have the guy that's been swinging it for two it's years. Embarrassment, man. Guy that's never swung it. You got me on a rant. Don't swing a drop three <laughs> starting in high school for the first time ever. Don't. Don't do it. Swing a drop five. Convert to a drop three and suck and learn. Thirteen, definitely by fourteen, you got to man. So. That's my rant. Go on. What do you got next? Uh, I got the icon. New bat. New bat alert. This is New the bat. icon. Um, this bat right here hits bombs. I was swung it a couple times, hit it in the cage, and um, it's hot. It's kind of like I would compare it almost to the Meta Prime. Um, it's not even out yet. It's not? Not even right now. Oh, there it is. There it is. There yeah, is. I they thought did it the was clout, clout and the icon. I don't think it's I the BB Core butt. It's the BB Core one. I go. Did. Let's see. You trip on U -trip. their website. You trip. So this bat in a BB Core is not out yet, um, but it is in a. U -trip I believe it's five. December first. Yeah. So you will be able to get it December first. I've actually seen it it's at a nukes guys at right. a few um, stores. I'm not going to mention the stores because I'm not sure if they're actually supposed to have them on the shelves right now. But we've demoed that bat at a store before we got this bat. It's very hot, guys. Like. The bat, the way that it feels, it's is, a complete redesign. Yeah, it's it is not a new. It is a new line. It's right? not like it's the Quattro. Like the Quattro, I felt like was kind of a lighter composite. Like you get the barrel there, and it goes pretty far. This one is more of like a Meta Prime, more like little, slightly more end loaded, uh, more kind of my opinion, like solid feeling barrel. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels solid when you hit the ball, even with the composite. Yeah, it feels solid. And then another big thing is the sound. The sound is very, very nice when you hit it on the barrel. So I was very impressed swinging it. I really didn't know that it wasn't out yet. Uh, so that's pretty December funny. 1st, so, I believe is, yeah. is when so it's coming up quick. I haven't swung the U trip bat, so I can't really speak to that, but I'm sure if the BB core is hot, it's pretty hard to make a U trip bat that's not hot. So and it looks like the, the U price for trip is four. Three ninety nine for the drop five. Three ninety nine for the drop eight and drop ten. Three ninety nine for the USA version, uh, and then for the coach pitch drop thirteen. Coach pitch they have it for eighty nine dollars. Uh, my guess is the price point on that will be four ninety nine uh, between three. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's four ninety nine. Yep. So. High price point, high performance. It hits bombs. They've guys. done a complete redesign on it. So it is not your typical bat. Um, bat. It's not your typical Rawlings bat. It is a complete redesign, a new line of bats. So that's going to be um, something to be looking for. The Rawlings Icon. Icon. All right, moving on to the next thing, guys. We have G-Form. I've been a huge G-Form fan for a very long time. Their stuff keeps getting better. They keep evolving and keeps getting more comfortable to hit with. The technology keeps getting better, and I'm very impressed with the stuff that they have out right now. Uh, they make a ton of stuff. They have a ton of different products, ton of different sports. Um, they got into baseball a while ago. I think I was one of the first ones that picked up their baseball stuff, and they've just gotten 10 times better since then, and they keep going. So this is the elbow guard. It's got two Velcro straps here. Put it on, and the thing that really makes these different than like an Evo Shield or another um, whatever the other, I don't even pay attention to the other ones, guys, but this is like, the thing that makes them different is they are soft. It's comfortable. They're soft, comfortable, they move, like, look at this, you can't do that with an Evo shield. This stuff is like a brick, literally is a brick. But um, with these, their technology inside of the actual um, Ooh, pad. Look at that. What? Ooh, they got a hand guard now, too. They're just getting a bunch of stuff. It's so good, different dude. products. But what they have that's different than everybody else is their stuff hardens on impact. So you take a baseball coming in at 80 miles an hour, however hard it's coming in, and it feels soft until the baseball hits it, and then once it hits, it compresses. So you cannot feel 
anything when you get hit. It feels, it's honestly a crazy feeling because you're like, I should be in pain right now, but I'm not. So it's, it's pretty cool. They make, let's see, they have sliders. Ooh, I should have brought the sliders out here. This Their way. sliders are the best sliders that anybody makes that I've ever tried on anything. So good. The coolest thing about them, like a lot of people take this for granted, they have a cup pocket. So when you put in your cup, Bro. they have a Velcro thing to close it up. So your cup doesn't flip on you when you're doing high knees. I'm sure every single person that wears a cup can relate to that. Sold but out right now. Are they sold out? Sold out right now. Dude, they're- I'm telling you right now, there is no better slider than their elite bandit sliding short. They're crazy good. Like, I was so impressed when I put them on for the first time. They're comfortable. They have pads around your butt and down your thighs. So like, if you get hit there, it's not gonna feel, you're not gonna feel very much. How about anything. not getting a cherry on your leg? Ooh, that's also big. Um, yeah. I'm pretty famous around our house for coming home after games and my leg has pus all over and bleeding everywhere. So um, it's a good thing when you wear them. <laughs> when you wear them, you don't get. Don't leave home without it. Yeah, so um, big fan of everything G-Form. They have leg guards, they have batting gloves. I'm a huge fan of the batting gloves. They have pads all over them too. Quick, How many times have you heard? Off and on. Yeah, so like. Um, they used to very use quick. buckles, right? Yeah, they used to have little buckles and they would be a pain in the butt to get off. Like you had to like press down insanely hard to get them to come off and now it's just like rip it off, hand it to your coach and move on. So. And then you see also guys sometimes they don't, a lot of the guys, leg guard, they don't use the top they of don't the, want the, the foot. foot. So they just go with the shin, which... I don't know. I've seen so many people just this fall hitting off machines that get hit in the leg and it hurts bad. So, uh, that's a great, great option. So anyways, G-Form is, their website is g-form.com. Another big thing with G-Form is they have custom guards. You can order a custom I need to order elbow guard. I don't know if I can get it in time for Christmas. With your logo. So like, or whatever you want to put on there. Like I have one with my high school's logo on it and I have one with my Instagram logo and YouTube logo on it. So um, they have a, this is the two batters baseball the Elite guard. two. Elite two. So it has two different parts. They make ones that are like your standard um, elite elbow guard that are on it that don't have the forearm protector they just have the elbow protector but it hangs down past yeah so like the elbow. a lot of people are like well if i go like this i'm gonna get hit in between it's not like that at all because if you actually put it on let's see if i can get it on real quick you put it on and it hangs down over so you get hit and it just kind of like glides off instead of getting hit in between and getting hurt so well, uh, keep keep your eye on their website because right now they're sold out. A lot of stuff is sold out. There's a out. lot of stuff that's selling out because they got great products and everyone knows across the whole globe there's supply chain issues and issues with importing and shipping and all that. So keep your eye out if you're interested. I'm telling you, you will not regret the best sliding shorts ever. G form. G form. And get those. Those they're are sold so out. The Elite Batters Guard, which is this one. Batters Leg Guard. Sold. That's sold out. That yeah. sucks. They got a lot of stuff that's sold out. Just this right so now. Good. It's this so good. Today, right now. Hopefully, they get it back in. Hopefully, y'all can get some tomorrow stuff. or next week. They'll. They also, they also have batting gloves that have some protection on the wrist. Uh, on you top get of the hit. Fingers. How many? How many times you hear about people getting hit and their bones are shattering in their hands? So, so. Um, the custom, the custom one is this isn't custom, but no, I'm just saying the custom. They, the, <clears> oh, there it is. I the see. The two it. pieces, sixty nine or six sixties. Yeah, that one is sixty bucks, fifty nine ninety nine on the website. The customizable one is sixty four. I think I saw sixty four ninety nine. They got some Ooh, really cool. That's stuff. clean, dude. Sixty four ninety nine. Can you put a logo on it, or is that? Yeah, you can pick a design, or you can do your own thing. Um, you pick all your colors. Interesting. There, there it is. Upload, upload your, your own, own logo. logo right? Okay. Add your text. That's pretty cool. And you can put your name on it. You can put anything really that you want on name, number. They got a bunch of stuff, guys. So if you're interested and you need a new uh, elbow guard, they also have, uh, he told me, I talked to him the other day, they're coming out with, they're trying to develop sliding mitts. So you need to be on the lookout for that because I know everybody's always looking I for sliding mitts. I wonder if you mitts. just give away something you're not supposed to give away. Oh, I hope not. Might need to cut that out, but I really hope not. Um, I might text him and ask him. But after it this, looks but. like it's it, the price goes up with the more customs customization on it because right now uh, it looks like it's set at uh, seventy five ninety nine for a custom that that one right yep. there. Um, so you've got that option. The uh, speed batters, which is not the forearm, it's, it's just, just the, the elbow. The elbow. That one is forty nine ninety nine. And then they just came out with a hand guard. You've seen batters. Start to wear 
is basically a slots between their batting gloves and then covers this area because if you take an impact, I don't know if you guys have seen the... People's bones are literally shattering. If you, you saw the watch momentum video. Oh my God. They shot a Dude, 100 mile an hour. His fingers were backwards. They shot a... His uh, fingers were backwards. They shot a 100 mile an hour pitch off of a machine at a ballistic dummy hand. And so it just, if you have your hands shut, you you're might done. wish that you had. Anyways, that's uh, $39.99. So... Uh, something to be on the look for, g-form.com, their website. Go back to it over and over again because they I will would be check it from now until Christmas. Restocking the sliders. The sliders are so good. Like I can't tell you guys. The elbow enough. guard. Everything. Everything they make is top quality. I haven't had anything ever rip on me. Um, you have to do this. Nothing <laughs> ever rip on me. When I actually wear the sliders, I had an issue. I didn't wear them. And I had just straight underwear on, and I got the biggest Bro. cherry raspberry of my life. So Bro. make sure you wear them if you have them. Gform.com. Gform. G-form.com. Yep. G-form. Next up. Moving on. Let's go to another bat. This right here is, I think, one of the bats that nobody knows about, that everybody should know about because it's hot. I think it's going to be one of the next kind of like up there Sleepers. with the voodoo. Um, Honestly, I feel like it's harder than the Voodoo. This is the Axe Bat Strato. Guys, this thing hits bombs. I've been using it at school ball, and everybody's like turning their head like, what is that bat? And I let them try it, and they're like, I'm getting one. I haven't had a single person that I've let try my bat that isn't like, I'm getting this when it comes out. And it came out last, last week. Last week. November 1st, I think, is when it came out. So yeah, November 1st. it hits nukes. So it's one of those bats where it's like, it, like you look at it, it's like, what is this? And then you actually swing it and it's good. So the biggest things that they have on this new stuff is the new Axe flared knob. So a lot of people aren't fans of the Axe bad, which even people that I've talked to at my school, they're- They were so um, anti having that. They hate the Axe. Like they see the, they see the word Axe, they're like, oh, I can't swing that at the knob. And now it's like barely noticeable. Like it's almost just like it's, a tilted regular it's knob. It's still very comfortable. It's very comfortable. The grip that they have on here is like sticky. Like it's a good, good grip um and the biggest thing for this bat is the barrel the barrel on this bat is huge huge barrel i mean the barrel goes like that far and everywhere through here hits balls very hard like i haven't had a single uh single thing where i felt like oh that ball should have been like a lot of times you pick up a bat and you're like oh i hit that well and then you see how far the ball went and it's like ooh. this one it's like jumped i was like oh i didn't hit that very well and it goes very far so i've been very impressed with the performance on this bat, they have a rating on there. That's very interesting. They got everything. Barrel size, 10, 10 out of 10. Everything here is 10 out of 10, uh, except for the sting stop, which, I mean, that's expected when it's a one-piece alloy bat. You're going to get a little bit of vibration. Do you, do you feel it? Me? No, I haven't really. Why? Because you find barrels? Yeah. I was about to say, <laughs> I haven't really missed that much, though. The lowest ball I've I find finished. barrels. Yeah, literally, I'm just. I find him. barrels. I don't miss. Price point. Where is it? Oh, $349.99. So, um, pretty average now for BB Core, maybe a little bit below average for some of those, uh, pricing. I think it's, yeah, it's one of the lower pricing. It's, it's yeah, good. It's, <clears throat> 349, 349.99. I've had people come up to me like, yo, I'll buy it off you right now. I'm like, no. <laughs> so I, I need to keep this bat. This bat hits bombs. I've got at least 10 people in my school that are buying it or the bats already shipped. So, um, Strato, Strato, Axe Bat Strato. AxeBat.com. Yeah. Telling you the next good crazy good bat. People, it's just, people are going to sleep on it until they start seeing sleep it. Sleep on it until you swing it. Yeah. Honestly, um, if y'all don't buy it, I mean, there's a lot of good bats keep out them this all year, man. Me. It's, it's a good stick. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Next thing. <clears throat> I've been using these for a very long time too. Very, uh, another company with great customer service. It's a brand new one. This is a brand new one. I got this one out just for the video. Don't lose your don't lose your Fuegos, guys. Don't lose your Fuegos. This is a clean Fuego. This is a baseball that has been cut out, and it's not actually baseball. It's made out of something completely different. So what it is, is when you throw, a lot of people, I get asked all the time, I don't have the craziest of arms. Like, I don't have just like that FU arm, 90 across the diamond. I have, honestly, it's probably getting up there pretty close, but it's not anything like... Um, You're getting anything, up there. Anything crazy. So uh, there's guys that can just like... How did like, you get there? Yeah, so for me, the biggest thing that I focus on is my spin. A lot of guys, I don't have a baseball, but like when you throw a baseball, if you get to the side of the ball, the ball is going to have that kind of 
tilted spin and it's gonna spiral down into the ground. You see like guys that throw the ball and their ball goes like this or it goes like that. And it's not something that they're doing on purpose, it's just happening. And that has to do everything with spin, wrist angle, a lot of stuff. And the Clean Fuego, what that does is it fixes all those problems for you and you can really see and feel what your ball's doing. So one of the things people talk about is does can does your ball carry? Yeah. Across the field. Does and your that ball was carry? like when I was at K State last weekend, they didn't even have a radar out. They didn't have a a stalker. They just wanted to see can you get the ball over to first in under four seconds and does your ball drop or does it get there flat? And a lot of that has to do with your spin. I was throwing baseballs and I watched the first baseman's glove, they would go up. You see these wiffle ball videos all the time, you throw the ball and the ball goes up. I was swear I was seeing that when I was throwing and it was one of the best feelings that I've ever I've ever felt. Your ball stays up. So it doesn't sink. You don't believe me, but I literally I had a kid, I was at Baylor, there's this kid. I was playing catch with him. And on the way in, I pulled down, and I watched his glove go like this, and I came back in, and he had this shocked look on his face. He's like, how does your ball rise? I clean like, fuego. I was like, I don't know. But clean fuego. Clean fuego has everything to do with that. Um, I met their owner here um, in Dallas a couple years ago, and he taught me a lot about how to throw it. There's a couple of different pitches you can throw with it. You can throw a fastball, you can throw a curveball, and you can throw a changeup. They call it UFO changeups because when you throw it right, it spins sideways, their curveball spins like that, the fastball's like that. So it's um, a very interesting product. It took, it took me a little bit to get used to it just because it's kind of hard to throw um, Be on the lookout because I think right now they're running some sales. And I think Black Friday, like I saw on their, I think I saw on their Instagram, the guy was like, Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday. So that's, that's my guy McGinnis. And uh, he's... Promoting his Black Friday sale coming. So right now, if you go to their website, the prices are? Uh, the bundle. So you can get, they have a overload or overweight, which is an eight ounce. This is a standard five ounce, uh, a five and a fourth, which is what a baseball is. Uh, the red one is a five and a fourth. The big one, or not a big one, I should say the heavier one is, uh, says eight ounces. So it's slightly heavier. The bundle is nine ninety nine, so about $100. $99.99? That's what I meant, ninety nine ninety nine. Uh, and then the Clean Fuego, just regular one, that one is fifty nine ninety nine, and then the heavier one just by itself is fifty nine ninety nine. And then so they have a bunch of bundles. You're saving twenty bucks if you buy the bundle. <clears throat> and the benefit of the bundle, if you buy the overload, your body kind of self organizes. It does. It figures it out for itself. So when I first started using it, I would throw the other one, the heavier one, and my spin would go from like wobbly. Like I struggle to do it now, but it would. I can't. Do it. it would go wobbly, and uh, yeah. 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 So you would throw it and it would go like that. And it's not not good spin, but you get the heavy one and your arm just kind of goes where it needs to go. Your wrist needs to go where it goes, or it goes where it needs to go. And um, your ball spins straight. Efficient so, spin. Um, with this, I mean, it's really cool to see how big of a difference spin makes. Like it's, you could throw 90 across the diamond and you can have perfect spin and your ball stays up and almost rises. Or you can throw 90 across the diamond and have crap spin and your ball cuts like a curveball across the diamond. So it's two different looks, um, two different looks across the diamond, two different players really. And you can just make a big difference just by using the Clean Fuego. So uh, that's cleanfuego.com and they have a bunch of sales going on, a bunch of bundles going on for Christmas. So head over there and check them out. Be looking on. They got Friday. cool stickers and designs, everything really. They got hoodies and they got, for they got a bunch and of stuff. And, and I mean, a lot of companies, they like try to put out these like hoodies and shirts and everything. And it's just like, what are we doing? These guys actually have really nice clothes that I wear around um, all the time. So big fans of their stickers, big fans of their shirts. Yeah. And especially the actual clean flagos. So make sure you guys go check that out. What's next? Uh, let's see here. Let's move on to Marv. Ooh. Move on to Marv. So, ooh, let's get this up. This right here. Let's get these out. And I'll also get these. Ooh, these out. Um, I don't think I grabbed any of their bands. They're known for their bands. So I might go. Should I go run and get one? Yeah, we'll do it later. All right. So this right here is. Just got these in today. These are crazy. So these are baseballs. I bought them on Friday. Today is Thursday. Thursday and pretty quick. These just came in. So these are baseballs that you shoot out of a machine, but they're made for high velocity training. So if you get hit, it's not gonna hurt that bad. If you, um, 
Honestly, it's just made to go faster. Like it's everything made you do goes faster. To go. And you kind of have in your head, you're like, oh, if I get hit, it's not going to be that bad. So you're actually going to be in there. You're going to be comfortable. You're going to be able to work on your swing. So that's the biggest thing I think a lot of people don't like. It's scary sometimes getting in there against some fast pitching. But if you can kind of take some of that fear away, but also, uh, yeah, Marv Pitching Machine Balls. So, so it says, here you go. Let me, let's read the description. <clears throat> Similar flight out of the pitching machine is leather for giving benefit of foam baseballs on the hands and bat and painted seams gives you a good uh visual realistic. for a realistic flight but it, it's you can crank it up to you can crank it up high like it's really the high benefit is that you go okay 90 Ooh. and you take one to the back at 90 not even that but like it's a lot tough. of pitching machines don't even get up to 90 like a lot of pitching machines the they say they'll get up to 90 but you got to turn all the wheels up to 10 and the ball doesn't really shoot out straight it's throwing knuckle balls but if you get a lighter ball that shoots similar. A lot of times you get like a foam ball, you put it in the machine, it shoots like literally like rise balls. But if you get one that's similar weighted, um, but foamier, kind of a better feeling, um, you know, it's better. It's we're gonna better. we're gonna do a full review on these, but the reason why I bought these like now is I wanted to include them in the Christmas video because High velocity training. It's cute when when you go up there and you're facing wow. 50 mile an hour off the machine at 45 feet or whatever. Yeah, it's it good is. to work on things. Right? 45 it's good to work feet on or whatever. But when you go and you need to actually get better, like I I heard from a coach at Baylor, he's like, you can go and you can hit all the cage all you want. You can go hit off a tee all you want, and sure it'll get you better form. But the second that you step in against 90, 85, 95, all that form, good luck to you. It's gone. So he's so, like, you need to focus on. Um, chaos training, so getting your body uncomfortable. Um, getting your mind uncomfortable. Me and my dad try to do that a lot more now than we used to, and it's making big differences. Like, you get in a game, and it's not going to be, the ball's not going to be on a tee, there's not going to be any, like, you can't go in there practicing, hitting off a tee in a quiet facility all by yourself, and then expect to go in a game when there's 100, 200, 300,000, 5,000 people, and perform against 90 so got to make sure that you're training chaos chaotically yeah. and uh getting better so those are the mar pitching balls i didn't see how much those were these are 59.99 for a dozen so less than uh, what 12 in here so five five dollars a ball pretty good pretty and soon. then these are the mar velo pitching baseballs I'm missing one. You There's are. You're missing the heavies. Am I? Yeah, That's you're right. right. So they have different weights. And the biggest thing on these is they have seams. A lot of weighted balls, um, they're just kind of like that plastic. Um, smooth. Smooth material, like not grippy, no seams. You can't see what your ball is doing. Um, you can try to throw curveballs and change-ups with them, but it just kind of like wobbles. Tumbles. You can't see yeah. your spin. This is an actual baseball just – filled with stuff but it's also like a plow ball so it's like squishy. we saw them down at um i forgot the name of the S dst dst in san antonio Something like that yeah dst in san antonio a facility great facility in san antonio he said he's been using them for a long time and, and they using haven't had for hitting Ooh, they do have hitting balls on there on he, their yeah website. but no no he was using those specific ones for hitting too and he said they just they hold up really great they're it's crazy much better than a lot of the um other uh, so they have a ball that's a pound. So they have a big ball that's black. Um, it's in the garage right now. I forgot to grab it. But it's a pound. That one stays in my bag. So in between innings, I'll do some reverse stuff and pivot pickoffs to try to get my arm to stay So we got a 3.5 ounce, a 5 ounce, one. a 7.5 ounce, this one. a 1 oh, pounder. This one. This is the 1 pound. That one's got to be a 2 pound. And then a 2 pounder. Yeah. So this is the 1 pound one. So it uh, says durable PVC design, lasts to get through the cold, hot, dry, and wet weather. Aids in building arm strength. Um, just seems for it. Great that's another one that's got a really good um, company as far as customer service. Yeah. Couldn't ask for better customer service than the one we've had from Marv. Um, they get the orders out quick and it's always good. Never had a bad experience with Marv. Great, ever. great products. Never so. heard anything bad about them either. So, website? It's Marv, M A R V training.com. And the price is? Price for these is for, or $54.99 for a Velo set. So that also includes the big two pound ball that I don't have with me. Yep. But so really good stuff from Marv Training. Marv Training. M A R V. Marv Training.com. Good stuff. All right. All right. So up next is 
cleats. These are Adidas Adi Zero Afterburner cleats. I think a lot of or a lot of times people don't really take into account how much cleats have an impact on your performance. Um, a lot of times people are just like, oh, it's a cleat. I'm just going to put it on and play with it. But getting the right type of cleat that fits to your foot, that feels good, um, helps out a lot. So these cleats are Adizura Afterburner NWV cleats. Uh, they make these in molded spikes and turfs. I have the moldeds and the turfs, and I'm a huge, huge fan of them. I've always been a huge fan of the Adizura, uh, the Afterburners especially. They're just so light. Um, I don't think there's anything lighter. There's nothing lighter in my opinion. Uh, I just feel like I can bounce around. Um, that's something that I'm big on, is staying light on my feet, being able to move. If you get like big kind of clunky cleats, um, for get, me it doesn't feel good to play in and you kind of look and run clunky. So I like to feel kind of like I don't even have a cleat on my foot, but I have really good traction. So I'm a huge, huge fan of the Adidas Afterburners. Um, they're very, very nice cleats. So these ones, not only do they feel good and play good, but they look good too. You got those nice gold accent all the way down into the white kind of clearish, then the little accents. Like the biggest thing that I really enjoy about Adidas is they take all of the little details into account. Like everything on this cleat is like immaculate. There's nothing that I can find that's different on one side than the other. All the little tiny details like the chrome decals are perfect. Uh, this little spot right here, which I noticed, there's a little spot right there, that little black spot. I was looking, it's the exact same on both cleats. It's there on both Just of them. Small so. details of the design, form, function. It's like art art meets style meets function. Pretty cool stuff. Like the toe box is reinforced so when you're when you're applying torque to the ground your foot doesn't slip around inside the toe box. Um, you can see where your drag marks are for when you throw yeah. on the toe. <laughs> right on the edge right there. <clears throat> right there. The heel, how it doesn't like rub up against you. It's above your Achilles tendon, right? Yeah, it's that's my favorite thing about these. Like it I doesn't can doesn't dig in. Yeah, so it's kind of like gives you a little bit of extra support and it also is kind of like an extended like if I was going to wear this with short socks, which a lot of times at practice I'll wear that. Um like ankle socks, it doesn't rub. Like a lot of the cleats that I'm used to using, you put them on and it's like you either have to wear long socks or you're done for, right? Like you're going to be blistering up. These ones it's kind of like an extended sock. Really nice feeling. Um, good support and I mean they're very nice cleats. So you got the price point on that? These ones, the moldeds are 140 so are the spikes, like the metal spikes are also 140 and then the turfs which are um, also very nice. They're extra light and I love those ones. Those ones are 120 Did you so, say those were like your favorites ever? Those are my favorite shoes that I've ever put on my feet ever. <laughs> it's like- Ever? It's, shoes no, period? Period. Like if I could wear those around all day I would but I just don't want to wear wait, them. Wait, when you wear out the, the, the soles of the- Dude. All those turfs, you're just going to wear them every day to school? I'll keep wearing them. <laughs> Dude, they're so nice. Buy, buy a new set of turfs and then yeah. you can rock those at school. They're actually so nice. So, website? Website is adidas.com. All right, what's next? Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's move on to this. Hang on a second. Here, I'll this take one. that one. Okay. Let's go with this one. <clears throat> Wait for it. Here we go. Boom. This little device right here is called the Axio 360. And what it is, is it's kind of like a tube. It is a tube, a tube wrapped around um, the circle here with the handle in the middle. And in the tube, there's a metal ball. So this metal ball, y'all can't see, but when I go like this, there's a ball that's going back. You can hear it. There's a ball that's going back and forth here. And the goal of this thing is to strengthen your uh, shoulder muscles. You gotta stop looking at my computer screen. I'm trying to see. There's the camera right there. Let's look at that one. It's flashing around. But it anyways. It is flashing around. Yeah, it's catching my eye. No, I keep looking at both Adidas and that one. We're just like pop, pop, pop. I was like, hey. But anyways, you take it and you're supposed to get it started like this and then you're gonna start spinning it. Ooh, hang on. It's hard to do it when you gotta worry about other stuff. But you go like that and it's spinning around in there and what it's doing is strengthening up all the muscles in your shoulder at the same time. And when you get really good at it, I can do it pretty well when I'm standing up. But when you get really good at it, you can go it all, all of your, where's it at? All of your vectors motion, over your arms. All the way down through and back around, all the way back. So very cool training device here. 
You're uh, right. You do kind of catch. Dude, that's I just keep like <laughs> it's nonstop changes. It's cool. It's, it's a cool website, dude. It's a very because cool it website. keeps on like changing. It's dynamic. It's nonstop. It's good. Actually, I'm gonna probably wind up saving this to send it to a friend of mine who's redesigning his website. His it's, it's actually a pretty good website. Okay, good. so you have the Axio trainers. That one is the 360. Axio 360. They have the Axio 720 and the Axio 1080. And then they have the Axio Lite. Yeah, so this one is just the Axio 360. Um, I think this is the normal one. Yeah, they call this one, the, the Axio 360 Lite is for youth and rehab. The 360 regular is introductory, which honestly through high school. Yeah, I mean this is, I'm not gonna players, lie to you, this is pretty, I mean most, it's not heavy, but it's, it's pretty hard to use. Most pro players are using the 360. Then you wanna bump up to the 720. 720, that's for advanced, and then the 1080 is for expert. Experts. And then another thing that, um, I met uh, the owner at a trade show here in Dallas, and he showed me a bunch of stuff that you can do, not only for your arm, but for like core workouts too. So you can take it and you can spin it just like this. Let me get started. You can take it and you just spin it just like this. So you're working your core right now, and you can do a bunch of different movements, turning, twisting, all the way around, above your head, um, planks, just a bunch of stuff. I was really impressed with uh, the amount of stuff that you were able to do. It wasn't just a shoulder specific. And then the, the price point for the 360 light and 360. This is uh, $119.95, so about $120. And then for the advanced, it's $129.95. Which is the 720. That's the 720. And then for the 1080, the expert, it is uh, $139.95, so about $140. So it's, very, it's a very nice product. I think a lot of people don't think about how you can like strengthen your shoulder. Your shoulder deteriorate, deteriorates. A lot throughout it's a the very, season. You got to. It's continue. a very unstable joint. Yeah, you got to be able to build up the muscles around it to keep your shoulder in there in the first place, and be able to strengthen it so that you can throw harder. Um, a lot of times, towards the end of the season, everybody's arm starts to get hurt, and um, not only just in the shoulder, but other muscles too, because your body's trying to compensate for the weakness in your shoulder with other muscles, and then those muscles end up hurting. So, um, well, just, they, they got they, a ton of. I think the problem is they go. <clears throat> you don't realize like. Your hip joint is like, it's literally ball and socket. It's it, stuck. It's encapsulated, right? Your shoulder's kind of just it's floating. Floating, being held on by bubble gum and, and some zip ties, which we call muscles and ligaments. But if That's those break, really what holds it in there. It's like the back of the scab, collarbone, and the, the, the arm is just floating. So you got to make sure you really all those need muscles to are good. Work those muscles, especially in your back. Working your back, but working your you know rotator cuff. You got to make sure all those things are strong. Everything. And then they have um, bundles where they do the Axio unit, the 360 plus bands, things like that. So website is AxioTraining.com. That's A X I O Training.com. Go check it out. What do you think? I like it. I'm a big, big fan of it. Um, all right. So moving on, thing. we got you have this one. I have this one. Let's open it up. We did a video on this. Watch the address. Which was kind of like, you want to go? I'll go over it. Okay. It's called Do you think? the rope bat. Do you think? So this is the actual bat itself. It's got like kind of like a plastic foam type head right here with the rope, rope bat into the handle. And what it does is when you swing, it moves. It moves around like that. So when you swing, you have to whip like everybody always talks about whip, but nobody really knows how to like time, I guess. I don't know if that's a good word, but like time the whip. If you whip too early, you're gonna hook the ball. If you whip too late, then the ball's already gonna flare. You're not gonna hit the ball. So this is a big tool for being on time with the barrel and knowing where your barrel is at all time. Good, good barrel awareness. Uh, um, I think sometimes here. people, if you, if you push with your hands, the yeah. you're not gonna be able to get the barrel there. It doesn't come around yeah. with the rope, right? If you push, it creates a linear line so that 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 rope sits barrel literally sits, sits back there. here, right? So you push your hands and the barrel sits here. If you come through and then it, and it the, whips. It whips around. So you hit these little, they call them smush balls. Um, one thing that I really like about this product is that you can use it inside. So if it's ever raining outside, yeah. uh, I did a post on my Instagram store or on my Instagram. Did we do uh, it on YouTube or just? I think it was just Instagram. I think you're right. but, just on Instagram. Um, Hitting inside. Um, I've got a bunch of windows in our house and I have a bunch of TVs and I shouldn't say a bunch. I have a TV and a uh, bunch of breakable stuff. 
these things aren't gonna break anything. They're squishy, so. It's almost like those, those stress balls. Yeah, it is a stress ball, I think. Like, it's the same type of feel. But you, uh, you can hit them with the bat. It says here you're not supposed to hit it with a baseball or a um, softball just because it's kind of like that foam feeling. But these things, when you hit them, they fly off the bat. Like they it's, do. It's a funny feeling indoors because you're like, I'm going to break something, but you're not. And then you also get like smacked like when I was throwing them. Oh, I, I smacked my dad a couple times. <laughs> he, he got hit pretty hard. <laughs> but they're, they've got, um, it says, the, the train, tra train with the rope rat and you will develop a connected and powerful swing. Eliminate common swing flaws, looping, hitching, casting. Use your entire body when swinging. Uh, keep your hands inside the ball. Increase bat speed. <clears throat> Utilize the lag, not drag. Utilize lag. lag. Lag's big. Drag's not. If you don't understand the question, uh, the difference between lag and drag, comment. put a comment I'll below. <coughs> uh, hit the ball in the sweet spot every time because it's literally only a sweet spot. Literally only a sweet spot. Develop muscle memory that transfers to a real bat swing. Uh, receive immediate feedback yeah. that you'll be able to coach yourself. That was yourself. one of the things that I was big on. Like I would roll over a ball and I'd be like, oh wow. Like I, I could feel exactly what caused it and I could kind of almost feel how to fix it. So. Um, definitely something like there's a lot of products that like you can't use on your own. Yeah, um, it's like self-teaching, right? Yeah, and this one you could I could feel comfortable using it on my own and not developing any bad habits. Uh, it says Alex Verdugo. He's a huge, huge proponent of the of the rope bat. Their website is ropebat.com. Um, they've got a combo. It's the rope bat plus uh, was that 12, 12 of these foam things. I think that's what I have. That's $119 with a bag and the hitting info little. I mean, they got a lot. So you got team team setups. Um, and then I need to try and we need when to get some order some more extra. They got a pack balls. of balls for $34 too. So um, on there, I, I think I said this was this was $119 for the bat, the balls, and a little information about. I think that's just this, right? No, it's different. But Is the, it? Then they got the. Um, Another one with more baseballs. So, like, we need to order more baseballs. I'm not a big fan of having to pick up in between yeah. sessions that much. So, um, a, an extra 12 pack, which looks like that's what this one is. Yeah. Um, so it's a 12 pack plus a 12 pack um, is 144. So it saves you just a little bit of money. So that yeah. is the rope bat. The rope bat. You can find it at the rope or no, rope bat. Rope bat, not the rope bat. Ropebat.com. Rope bat. Uh, one night. One nineteen for what we have right there. Anyways, really, really cool because the biggest thing is it, you're able to teach yourself. Teach yourself what to do. So, all right, moving on. All right, I gotta get up to get this thing. This thing. We right talked here. about it last year, I believe. There's some things I think that we have this year that we had last year, but it's just because they're so good. There like go. they're they're just insane. So, this right here is the Max BP machine. This is the pro version. Um, what this thing does, it takes, come on, get out of here. All right, I'm just gonna flip it. It takes mini wiffle balls, like practice golf balls almost, takes them and it shoots them out. And it can do curve balls, sliders, cutters, um, so right-handed. literally on the side of the bio. Righty curve, lefty curve, cutter, slider, curve. So it's got a bunch of pitches. You can make it go, like if you wanted to work a two seam, you can put it on a cutter left hand and it'll break into you. So it's like everything that you can work um, that's like pitching that moves different directions. You got a flat one, you got a steeper one, and then you have a uh, straight flat one. So um, they got a bunch of different speeds on the feeder so you can have it shoot out boom, 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 boom. So if I was gonna work hand-eye coordination, I could have it shoot like a different colored ball. Like I have multicolored balls. They have like red ones, blue ones, mixed ones like this, and then they also have the white ones. You can do things like... Um... Only hit the red one. Right, or take take any of the colored ones, right? So yeah. you have the if you have the majority of them white, and you're like okay in a rhythm, right? Yes, whack, white one comes out, whack, white one comes out, whack, and you're in this rhythm, yeah. and all of a sudden you see red, you load, and you you're like stop. okay, did I swing, or did I did you go? Because you always should be thinking go 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 until it's a no. So yep. when you see the red one, it it comes right yeah. out. And we got lots of videos on the Instagram account with you training on it because it's it's a good tool it's it really good fast so they have on the pro version they have a turbo a super turbo so they also have a bunch of different speeds it ranges from soft toss to low to medium to high and uh, i usually work on the high turbo and then if i'm really trying to challenge myself i'll turn on the super turbo um, that one you can't be too close because it actually shoots out 
crazy fast, like almost unrealistically fast. So you now, gotta get back a little bit. Let me tell you, we had another one of these. I bought a similar idea. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and literally when we saw this, we're like, okay, the problem that we have with this other one is that it never throws strikes. It wouldn't throw strikes. It was like two wheels that were spinning weird, wobbling. This one is very, very accurate. Especially the if, only, I mean, there's no, if there's no wind, The wind is the biggest strikes. thing. Even if there is wind, it kind of like, Fights it'll in. be pretty accurate. But like it's, it's a wiffle ball. Yeah, I mean, they can't do anything about it. So, but indoor, just, you get a little curve. Indoor, strike, 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 strike. It's, that was like the thing. Is like when we walked up and we saw them at ABCA. It was the high school coaches convention. High school coaches convention in Waco. And that was my biggest thing. I'm like, listen, dude, no offense, but we've got a competitor and it does nothing but throw. Yeah. And he was like, go stand in. And it threw me 20 strikes in a row. And I was Don't like, stop. On a dot. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Yeah. So and that's when we're like, it okay. Wasn't, it, it's not like this little like lazy little arc either. It's like, it's actually firm. Legit. And then they also sell, like they have tiny little bats and weighted bats too. Um, so it's like tiny ball versus tiny bat, and it's got a little foam pad on the end so you don't end up breaking your wiffle balls. Wiffle balls are not cheap. But uh, So the Pro, which is what you have there, yep. just the machine alone. 690. Okay. They have an original that doesn't have all the bells and whistles as the Pro. That's 490. And then they also have, um, the way this thing is powered is a battery pack. Um, you have to get the battery pack, um, I believe, right? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different yeah. options that you can get, man. That's, that's what's... <clears throat> You can get into it for as as cheap as uh, looks like four ninety. Four ninety. And I know why I say cheap. I know five hundred dollars is not cheap. I'm gonna tell you, off. you've been using this for at least four since years. You were, four or five years. Yeah, and it's a great tool, guys. Like, I've any time that my swing doesn't feel good, your swing has to be pretty dang good in order to hit a tiny wiffle ball bat or a tiny wiffle ball with a tiny wiffle bat and. Um, I feel like it kind of corrects you. It's good for hand-eye. It's one of the big things that I use it for. And then also, if I'm ever struggling with off-speed pitches, I can turn this thing on, take 200 cuts in 30 minutes, go pick them up, put them back, and keep going. With so, a light ball, light bat. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's a great tool. I understand it's not cheap, but it's an investment. Do, do this real fast. It's, it's the easiest way to rationalize it is that it's, we're going to call it, Call it seven hundred dollars, the pro, right? Call it seven hundred dollars. How many baseball lessons is that? For me? So I'm just saying, like in general, if you go, no, no, no. I'm oh. saying if I had to pay a, a coach to throw BP to you, oh, that's probably seven, seven. eight, nine. This thing throws 10, BP maybe, to you. Ten maybe lessons? Yeah, maybe. maybe. Every, every day, three sixty-five. Arm doesn't get tired. So that's why you kind of go like, man, it's expensive. And it's more challenging than it's BP. It's an investment. <clears throat> It's more challenging. Um, so that's how you kind of, I, I at least can rationalize it of going like, all right, I'm going to make the investment because, bro, if you do one lesson a week at $80 or $100, make it simple. $100 per lesson, one lesson a week, $400. You're coming out way ahead being able to use this tool. It's, it's a great tool. And they have a whole bunch of options. They're, 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 um, Let's see if they have their... It's 490 and it ranges all the way up with a bunch of bundles up to almost $3,000. So, um, I mean, you get that $3,000, you're getting over, it looks like, about 300 wiffle balls, another carrying bag, carrying case, tripod, batteries, and a bunch of other stuff too. So, on their website, it's maxbp, M-A-X-B-P dot com. Uh, they have a bunch of stuff, not only just the machine, they also have batting gloves, throwing gloves, um... Vision oh, tools. They have a lot they of stuff on there. Stuff. Frost gear stuff, which we we love. Their cold frost, frost gear is good. I should have brought that out. Is especially amazing. Especially for winter time. Um, but like right now, like the biggest package, you go uh, $920. This is the full. Ooh, it's priced off right now. Yeah, it's normally um, $1,140 for this combo. So you get um, the bat machine, tripod, plug-in battery adapter, um, wiffle ball, wiffle ball carrier, another set of white wiffle balls, wiffle ball carriers, tripod, and a carrying case, which is where you typically carry all your stuff together yeah. is in that bag. So <clears throat> it's an investment. We get it, but it's a great Christmas idea. It's a great it's Christmas really gift. Good. And go back to rationalize and put that in your head. Even at $920 for the complete, deluxe, top-of-the-line setup, that's nine lessons. That's 
if you do one lesson a week at $100, that's two months, two and a half months of, of lessons. Yep. But All you right. can use it for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. I haven't ever had an issue with it. But, uh, website, you already covered that? MaxBP.com. M-A-X-B-P.com. There you go. Okay. Great people, too. We've had, we've had one issue with it, and it was fixed like... It was quick. It was immediate. very quick. Like, they took care They're of it. They're another one with good customer service. Amazing customer service. So, I mean, it's great to see that when you got an issue with a, a, a nice high-end product, yeah. they take care of you because they, they value your money. They do. So, All right, next thing. This. Oh, what in the world? Hang on. Got to put it back before I bring it out. This right here is the Mark Pro. I am a huge, huge fan of the Mark Pro. Been using this thing for over a year now, and it is clutch. So everybody, almost everybody that I know that plays baseball has a TENS unit. So a TENS unit has... I mean, oh, let's just, see if you can explain the difference between a TENS unit and a Mark Pro. I will. Watch let's me. go. Let's see it. TENS unit. A TENS unit has constant electricity going into your muscles, okay? Constant, no pulsing, no nothing. The difference between a TENS unit and a Mark Pro is the TENS unit stimulates the Mark Pro pumps. So it has a specific rhythm that's in the machine that is made to pump blood throughout your entire body or wherever you have the Mark Pro on. So if I was going to put it on, say, my elbow, I'd put a pad here, pad here, pad here, and pad here, and it would go boom, boom, and just shoot blood through my arm and back through. And um, that's the biggest thing for me is getting new blood, new oxygen, new minerals, everything um, into my um, into my arm. So after I throw or if anything is hurt for me, um, I would put it on there and I usually end up feeling better after about 20 minutes. Let me see if you can show the unit because you've had this unit for a while. Dude, show the unit up to people. Like if you hold it up to the screen. That's the unit. It's uh, Hold up the back so that people can see the side. I use it a lot. He uses it a ton. I use it a lot. A ton. Um, a lot of this, it's not as bad as it looks. There's like the sticky pad stuff on here but um, so what you do you take the pad you put it on your arm it's attached to I don't know why I grabbed the one that didn't have a cord you take the one <laughs> it's got a cord on it it's attached there you put it on wherever you're gonna put it on and it's really helpful on their website they have pad positioning they so do. you can learn where to put the pads for specific they injuries have interactive body map. body map so wherever you want to put your pads so like say your hips hurting say your forearms hurting let's go form go with the form go with the form uh, mid arm mid arm. arm and then they have I wouldn't watch the you video, could, just you, that there you go and then it pops up and it says you place one here and one up interior in bicep. Here. One there. Interior bicep. That's and it. that, when that happens, see my arm. Oh, look at those! It's jumping. It's look at pumping. The, look at it's the guns. Pumping blood. So I use this a lot on. I have knee issues. Like my knees hurt all the time. You'll find that so when you um, grow. I have knee issues all the time, so I'll put them on my knee, get some new blood in there. Elbow issues, put it on there. It's fixed pretty dang quick. And um, it's just really good for recovery. It's a big, big deal when it comes to um, recovering faster, getting back playing faster, on getting anything. more practice in. It seems like you use it. Um, this isn't just for baseball. Like your parents could use this. I know my mom uses it. Um, just like puts it on her back. My dad uses it on his back. It's just like a good thing to have around the house, not just for sports, but just for aches and pains, getting new blood in there, healing your body. It does great. Um, so we need to find the price real quick. The website is markpro.com. The actual Mark Pro is $6.99, and then they also make a Mark Pro Plus. plus oof, that was bad. Mark Pro Plus. That one's Mark hard to say. Pro, Mark Pro Plus, which has... Um, um, pain. Yeah, so that it one's says relieve more significant pain that can't be addressed through recovery. Um, and it says that it's customizable programming creates more stimulation options. So it's just got a little bit more features to it. Um, the majority of people just use the, the Mark Pro. Yeah, everybody that I know uses Athletes the, typically use the Mark Pro. People who... Chiropractors and I like think are, are like injured and aren't really getting better. They have chronic chronic pain that happens all the time, right? Then That's more plus. The plus. So the actual Mark Pro is $699, so $700. And the Mark Pro Plus is uh, $13.99. $13.99. And they so, do 12 payments of 58 bucks for the... They also have a bunch of different colorways. So they have a 
Mark Pro Obsidian, which like is just all black. It's like a matte black color. That's also $700, $699. They have a Perfect Game Edition one, which has the PG logo up at the top. It's up, up at the top. It's uh, black, and it's uh, same thing as the Obsidian, just with the PG logo. Uh, they have a racing version, Andy Potts Racing. Who's that guy? No clue. Me neither. Um, yellow at the top, and then they also have a driveline baseball version, which Ooh. I know a couple of my friends have at the top. Drive they made a line. they made a limited edition, I think, with the the pro, and I know one of my friends has that one too. So back when you get the raised in baseball edition, mm, we get that in there. But raised in baseball edition. That is the Mark Pro. I would highly, highly recommend. It's a good that investment. For athletes. <clears throat> um, I mean, I know it's towards the top end. I mean, the high end of pricing, but I think that in the end, it's going to be worth it. And I, I look at it again. You go, I've used it. You Everybody used in it. my family's used it. My brother's a big fan of it, too. The my biggest, older brother, he does water polo, and any time that his legs are sore, boom, get it on there, and the next morning he feels great. Flush it out. So. And that's the thing is, like, I'd rather have it than not yeah. have it if I have the ability to get it. Because there's, there's things that <clears throat> we all get banged up, especially as we get older. We all get banged up, and having the ability to um, it's kind of like a reset button, have recovery like. is a great thing. So what's next, speaking of recovery? Okay, let me set this here. Let me get up and get the other thing. All right, so what's next? We have Victory Insoles. So I got these about a month ago, and they're crazy. Um, I didn't really realize how much, I talked about it earlier with the Adidas cleats, how cleats affect how you play, right? If you have a good pair of cleats, um, it just makes you feel better, makes you play a little bit better, and these are the exact same thing. So the insoles that you play with are huge. Um, a lot of people that don't really know just don't know, and um, once you try actual good insoles on, it really makes a huge difference. So these are the um, ones for non-cleated shoes, so like turfs, and these ones are for cleats. So cleated They're, they're shoes. slightly different in the amount of, of spring that they have, how stiff they are. Yeah. So there's definitely a different vibe to it, but... Uh, Carbon fiber, it's, you can see it in there. Yeah, so if you look at this, like it bends, and I'm gonna hold it. It bends and it Ooh. shoots, shoots right right back. So if you were to do that with a regular insole, it would just bend over and kind of stay like that. This one snaps back. So that is the Victory insole here. This one again is for the non-cleated, and this one is for the cleated. What's the price? So $169 for this one. And I couldn't really find this one on their website. We need to look a little bit harder, but if you want to look for it, it'll probably be in the description below this. So. But yeah, there's difference different for turfs for versus spikes um, or molded cleats, and so you'll have to choose what you want as you want. But do you feel like you got more pep in your step, more energy returning like, to your step? I do. I feel it's kind of a crazy feeling. I feel like I'm like more springy when I'm when I'm running around, when I'm jumping. Uh, just making plays on the ball, I feel faster. So the website's a little funky. It is actually right there. So on the spelling, right there. This one, victory.com. Nope. V victory gear. Victorygear.com. So, v k t r y gear. Gear.com. Gear. Say it one more time. Show it. V k. There you go. T r y gear.com. Made it in the USA. Made in the USA. Ooh, I like that. What's next? Let's see here. You actually have them right there. All right. Ooh, these. Oh, don't let don't let go. Who's these, gonna let go first? I'm not gonna let go. These are Marv training bands. Um, I showed one of their products earlier. I showed their baseballs, their machine baseballs. These are their bands. They're known for their bands. Um, the biggest thing with these is that you can use them not only for pitching, but you can also use them for hitting. So um, usually bands, you go on your wrists and you can't really. Like when you're hitting, you can't really feel what it would be like to have a bat in your hand with this. They have that circular um, grip there, and then they have a little slot for the band to go either there or there. So when you're hitting, if I had it, say I'm a left-hander, and that's the pull behind me, I can go like this, and I can practice my swing without having to like move or cock my wrist to get it there. It's just more natural feeling. So. Um, that's one of the big things about the Marv bands, and they also just added this kind of braided, the um, cool. braided band. Um, so that way, it's like a safety thing. It also looks cool though. So if one of them, if one for whatever reason snaps, you still have another cable holding on, so it doesn't whack you in the face. So whack you in the good, face. Good, good thing to have there. Good safety feature. But these bands, I love them. I use them all the time. They also have another product. You can use them in different like vector. I think the the V. 
at the, there's a whole multi-angular resistance vector right there it says it I'll that's what marv it. stands for multi-angular rotating vector there you go marv, marv. so that's kind of like having that channel in the handle is what um allows you to use it in different ways that's different than your typical bands right yeah so and the website is it is, I think it says it on here. Marv yep. Training. Marv Training.com. Marv Training.com. M A R V Training.com. Another product for Marv that I want to show. What about the price? The price for the regular one, which is not the braided band, is $34.99. See if we got the braided one. Yeah, on the there. braided ones are right there. For $10 more, you get a little extra safety feature. And they look cool. Cooler look. Comes in a ton of different colors. I don't they even know how ton. they can keep that many colors in stock. That's forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine. So <clears throat> Fifteen more dollars to get the braid. Um, but again, really cool on the being able to channel and change the vectors of how your resistance is going. So it's very cool. And finally, what do you have else? The last what else? thing, the there? actual last thing. No, I've said the that. The last thing from times. Marv is boom. This is the Marv. What did they call this again? I don't know. It's like a hitting it's, tool. And let's be honest, at first we're like, oh, that's a dog that's toy. That's a dog toy. Like, that's what we thought. But this is actually one of the coolest training tools that I've ever used. Swing path trainer. Swing path trainer. Okay, so for me, this thing's huge. Um, bat path is a huge thing. Um, staying on plane and going through the ball is big. And the thing that this does, you load up a tennis ball right there. And when you swing, if you do it right, the ball should shoot right back up the middle. Um, and it should stay flat, it shouldn't have top spin or anything, it should just be flat. Um, if you go around, it's gonna shoot out that way, so it's gonna go opposite field really quickly, like the ball's gonna, you're gonna be wondering what happened. And then if you cut off your swing, the ball's gonna go towards third base. So it really is a good training tool to help stay inside the ball and then go through the ball. And for me, that was, it was kind of a huge, huge deal. And you can use it um, as a one hand trainer. Yeah. Too. You can top hand, bottom hand. Let me see that real quick. The other, the other thing is it's stiffer in this area. Like, like we said in the beginning, we're like, oh, dog toy. <clears throat> stiffer, built different, handle, grip, right? Um, you've been using it a lot and you can see like some of the, there's dirt and the ridges on the, on the grip are slightly different. You got the typical like flared knob handle, which is, gives you a, a baseball feel. But the biggest thing that separates I think this from a dog toy is the way this arc is built, the, the type of material that's built in this area, and then the handle um, with the knob. So it's a good feel, it's a great tool. It's very nice. Like, I think we put off buying it for a while. Like it was out for a while and- We just didn't get it. We didn't get it and I was like, mm. But we finally got one and for me it's been huge. Um, it took me a minute to kind of fully understand how to use it. I feel like there was a lot where I was like, dude, that's the perfect swing, but it just went that way. And um, I figured it out, watched a couple videos, and it all kind of clicked, figured out how to make it go up the middle, and for me, it's been a great training tool. All right, so, so moving on. All right, so now what do you got? Got a couple more things here. We got wrist tape. Wrist tape's huge. Um, for me especially, I'm a big fan of drip. Drip. Look good, play good, feel good. So. Uh, wrist tape is a really good stocking stuffer for anybody who's like me who likes to wear drip. Drip. Um, you know, a lot of times well, everybody thinks like, oh, I gotta get like a good pair of, gotta get a good pair of sunglasses. I mean, arm sleeves, wrist tape, sunglasses go a long way, but I mean, a big, big thing for drip is wrist tape. So um, you can get a bunch of rolls of wrist tape and it's not really that expensive. So you just put, I don't know, two or three rolls in a, a stocking and it's a great, great stocking stuffer. I got. Why rolls. do you like it? Me? One, it looks good. Two, it keeps sweat from getting all over my hands when I'm trying to play. There's a key and, right there. And uh, I mean, it just feels better. I'd like having like that little kind of feeling of kind of being grabbed around my wrist. It feels, feels good. So that's like holy cow. Um, six rolls of white tape. Is so you can get you can get twelve. Pieces. You get twelve pack, which is like the pre wrap. That's eleven ninety nine oh, for twelve. We're not using pre wrap. We I mean, you could, but this no. one's it's like yeah. So six pack for eleven. Six bucks. pack for eleven bucks. That's perfect, right? And then I, mean, yeah, I know they you got a bunch them. of colors too. So it mm -hmm. just depends on you know what you're looking for. I'm a big 12 fan. Twelve pack for nine bucks. Yeah, five yards. Yeah, five yards. nonstop. So <clears <clears <throat> tape. yeah, wrist tape. There you go. And then another stocking stuffer right here is bat grips. Uh, this one that I'm showing you is the Vuk grips. Uh, used Vuk for a while now. 
their technology is very, very cool. Um, the way that it works, it's crazy. It's not sticky. It's just like grippy. I don't know how it's to like describe Velcro it. It's, for it's literally Velcro. You like lock your hands in. You can't like. It's like kind of hard to let go, especially if you have their own batting gloves. So, um, no matter what, if it's raining, if it's muddy, um, even in the cold, I mean, it's just makes it a lot easier to hold your bat. Uh, they have a bunch of other, um, not not only. Let's see. You can use it for different sports like lacrosse, softball, anything that Anyways, involves you. The, the tape. Using a stick. How but much is the grip tape? Grip tape. Grip tape is this is fourteen ninety nine. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine, and then they also have some batting gloves that you can use that just make that stick like extra, extra sticky. Not sticky, grippy. I guess I should grippy. say. I, it's kind of weird how to describe it because it's like, it's not like pine tar type sticky, but it's hard to let go of your bat. You gotta look so. at his website because, he's got. He's good. Or his Instagram account is what I was thinking of because he's got so many different videos. He's poured oil on his hands. He's gone swimming. He's put like uh, Vaseline on his hands and swinging with it. He does everything, dude, because it sticks. So, oh, they got socks now. Ooh, very Those cool. Book socks. Anyways, $14.99. Uh, and they're durable and you can unpeel them and you can re re stick them. them. So, very cool with that. And then we got a couple more things here. Website. Oh, website. Vuk. Vuk, v U K grips with a Z. So V U K G R I P Z dot com. Vuk grips. Vuk grips. All right, next. Um, let's see here. Let's go with this. This right here. This is called the Thermazone. I am a huge, huge fan of this product right here. Um, everybody in my family has used it at least once. Um, me and my mm. mom use it the most. And uh, it's really cool. So what it does is it pumps um, distilled water throughout this little pad here. They have a bunch of other pads. This one's the back pad. Used it last night. Uh, very, very helpful. But it pumps water throughout this tube all the way through here. There's lining on the inside. It's like little water pockets. Water comes all the way through here, uh, equally distributed, um, like coldness, hotness, whatever you have it on. And then it comes out the other tube all the way back around, and it keeps circling around. Um, you turn it on right here. Actually, before you turn it on, you need to make sure that you got water. You pour that into this. You go inside. To open it right there. Uh, pour it in there. Close this, and then when you turn it on, you can choose hot or cold. Last night I did cold, and then it goes. You can go up to ten, or you can leave it at one. So if you have, um, if you have it up at ten, it gets down for the coldness. It gets down to thirty-four degrees, and if you have it on the heat, it gets up to one hundred and twenty-five degrees, and it'll stay there. It's not like it goes. Uh, 34 up to like 40 or 45 it stays at 34 the entire time so it's really it's a lot better than like an ice pack that you have to heat up every 30 45 minutes or not heat up cool off freeze every 30 to 45 minutes when you're using it this i wore all last night woke up in the morning had a little bit of frost on my back it was that cold. yeah that's what i'm saying yeah i did it i told cool. you like if you go all the way like don't go it's all the freezing. way because like it'll feel like frosty on your back yeah I, it took me like 20 minutes to thaw earlier I was like <laughs> so on my shirt i was tingling my wife had my wife had a uh, shoulder surgery like last month um went really well but the point is like she they make a shoulder sleeve that does the same thing it wraps around the shoulder back through here back through here and was able to use it for basically seven days straight like literally seven days straight never turned it off and we don't have to fill up the bucket with ice or um, they make some glacier things or polar, whatever they call it. And you got to dump ice in it. <clears throat> this is a great tool. Uh, they have so many different products that you can wrap. Like the, the concept behind it, and you can use your flex spinning on it. It's a, considered a medical device, but the, they started by using it with the military, um, trying to get people off of, off of opioids. So if you see that like website, it says the Ohio Opioid Abuse Prevention and Treatment Technology Grant, which is what they use to kind of further their 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 products. Um, you don't ever want somebody stuck on a, on a painkiller. So using contrast therapy of hot, cold, hot, cold. People who have migraine headaches, they have a, a band that goes across the top of the, the head that cools off the frontal lobe. They've got uh, things that go on your on your your um, elbow. Your they have a ton ankle, of pads. your knees, back, your shoulder. back, uh, and then they have a universal like a hot pad, cold pad that's typically like you know that size. Yeah. And um, the way that that works, you just unclip these two, 
and add whatever new pad you want in and then clip them back. So it's very easy to use. Uh, they have five built-in timers too. So uh, preset timer modes, there's five of them and you can toggle those on and off or you can just have it run. So it's at some point we have five, five people in our family, three boys, uh, mom and dad, and it's nonstop where someone's gonna get hurt, someone's getting banged up or strained yep. or, or surgery or something. And so having this in the house has been a great deal. Again, you can use your flex bedding account. To use it is considered a medical device. Uh, the website is therma-zone.com. Um, go check out their website, because again, especially with uh, veterans, that's really who they've, they, they, got, they got in on. That's where they really started, um, was trying to help veterans not get on pain medication. Thing. So when you when you've got traumatic injuries coming back from war, you don't want long term drug addiction. So this is where they started uh, Thermazone. So check it out. Great device to have in the house because at some point, especially in a larger family, Somebody's you will get, get hurt. banged up. So what's next? Ooh, let's see. I'm gonna go grab this. Do over your here. whoop? What? Do your whoop? I haven't done my whoop yet. I was thinking about that earlier. I didn't do it. All right, I'll just do it. This on my wrist right here, this is the whoop. Take it off real quick. So what this does is it basically tells you pretty much everything about your body. Um, for me, I use it a lot for my sleep. So it tells me um, the night before what time I need to go to sleep in order to achieve like really good recovery for the next day. Um, and then the next morning when I wake up, I can look at my, my app on my phone and I can see how much sleep I got, how much deep sleep I got, how much REM sleep I got, how much light sleep and how much I was awake, how many times that I woke up during the night. I can see what my heart rate variance was, how many times did I breathe per minute. Um, it'll tell me if those numbers are up to or down and it'll also, um, it's very good at predicting if you're sick or not. So that's something that I used it for. Um, it also has um, your skin temperature from baseline. So if you're having a fever, it'll tell you that you have a fever. And then it also has a bunch of personal stuff on like um, personal to you. I mean, as in it kind of learns about your body, what's normal for you specifically. And everything is not the same for everybody. everybody's body's different. So like my brother, his heart rate variance is over 100 every night. Mine is below, if not even at 50 on a good day. So swimmer versus um, aerobic swimmer. Yeah. And his resting heart rate, his resting heart rate is like. 50 beats a minute and mine's chilling at like 80 or almost 90. So it's kind of crazy how much different, I mean, we play two different sports, but it's crazy how much different my, that we are. If I get my, any brighter, there you go. Let's see. <clears throat> but you turn it sideways and it shows you your heart rate, heart beats throughout the entire day, including through sleep. That's your sleep. Uh, I it think talks it's about connected. I can pull your up. Your recovery, um, your strain that you put on, how many calories you burned. Um, and then it has the health report so when you do like, let's go to one of these days. This is when we came back from K State, right? This yeah, day. that was bad. It is one percent recovery. One percent. So 100%. we got home at midnight, and I just remember I took a shower and I went and laid in bed, and I just remember not really being able to go to sleep for a while. And then when I did finally go to sleep, I woke up and I was like, "Wow, I'm glad I got slip sleep." And I look at my clock and it says. 4.30. I was like, no, 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 so no. So it shows here that he had two hours and 57 minutes of sleep, that he actually went to bed at 2.39, that he woke up at 4.48. Now I clicked on it, and I can say, like, you were awake for 29% of your time was spent, uh, which is one hour and 12 minutes, was awake. One hour and 41 minutes of light sleep, which is 41% of his time asleep. His SWS, which is his deep sleep, which is recovery for uh, muscles, your physical recovery, is SWS. It's also where I think 95% of all human growth hormone is produced is during that SWS sleep specifically. Um, that was at 24%. And then you have REM sleep, which is when your brain is frazzled, when you're stressed out, you really want to reset the REM sleep or get as much REM sleep as you possibly can. You got a whopping... 15 minutes. 15 minutes there. So yeah, but. Um, wake events, the quality of the sleep. He was up 2.9 um, times per hour, which is high, which is why it's outlined in orange down here. He has uh, efficiency of sleep of 71%, which is low, again, outlined in orange here, where it's normally um, more than 84. His latency was good, which is why it's green. 
And then right here is his respiration rate at 17.1 versus where it normally is at 16.6. .6. So when it's really bad, everything's red. It'll be red. And he had that happen one time where dude, it was bad. We were out. And I could I could hear him at night. We were at a hotel uh, going to another baseball camp and. Um, I remember that. That was bad. And you could, I, I could hear him at night just like breathing. It was like quick and loud. And I was like, not normal. Wake up, whoop report comes out, and it's like in the red. Everything, like skin, everything. It was Temperature like, was up. It was not good. Literally said, like, you are sick. <laughs> so uh, it's just really good to be able to chart that as a athlete. Uh, you never know when, you know, if you, if you don't have an ability to chart how much recovery you have, are your muscles truly fatigued? Did you get good recovery? Did you get enough sleep? If There's a lot of times I feel like I'm good or I feel like I'm bad, but it'll say, hey, you just need to go stretch out. Like your body, like it won't ever, it'll say recovery, 87%. I won't look at it until say after I've woken up and I feel like crap, but I look at it and it tells me that I just slept like really hard. I need to go stretch. And then once I'm stretched, I'm good for the day. So. Um, that was something that was crazy for me was kind of figuring out my own body, um, kind of how my body works, um, things that work for me when I need to go to sleep and when I need to wake up. And it's just been a really interesting and ride with whoop these past couple years. What happens when like you don't have good recovery, you're more prone to be what? Injured. Injured, right? So you want to take things somewhat easier or put more emphasis on recovery. So a lot of people take rest days. So like if I'm in the red. Um, you have to take a rest take, day on the red. Take some rest days. So for me, I don't completely stop whatever I'm doing. I'll just put more emphasis on more stretching, more recovery work. So like um, I don't stretch a lot after I lift, but if I'm in the red, I might stretch afterwards, try to get some new blood up in there. Um, we talked about the Mark Pro. I might throw that on there or the Thermazone uh, just to kind of recover. Another big thing that I use is the Halo. Um, just really trying to put an emphasis on recovery that I normally would not put as much emphasis on. So it's a huge, huge product for me. Um, it's helped me out a lot over these past, what, three years? Get to, yeah, it? you get to, you gotta get to know. And, and we'll put a link in the, in the description on the YouTube channel because, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with the link, you can get one month free plus a 4.0 unit band. for free. Um, so it benefits you for a month. But if you sign up for a, 24 month contract 20 months 20 bucks a month 20 bucks a month 20 bucks a month and then they have a year <coughs> excuse me uh, a year is 25 dollars and then they also have monthly but great customer service too yeah right? everything is good like my older brother he uh his just stopped charging randomly like two days ago just would not charge and he emailed them and then he said they got back within two hours they're like we're sending you a new one uh when you get the box there's a shipping label put it on there send us yours we want to see what was wrong with it so um, very it like very that. good customer service. All that within two hours. Uh, I've never had any issues with it that weren't resolved. I also had questions. They always answer my questions. Anything that I have, like, what does this mean? Uh, how can I use this? And they're all great podcast. For everything information. like There's everything, everything that they have in. is good. So. so and that's that's we got two. My older son plays water polo and swims. He uses his nonstop. Um, his girlfriend has one. Tanner's got one. It's we just... have. It's funny. We have. So they have group chats on Whoop too. It'll say everybody's stats. And um, me, my older brother, and my older brother's girlfriend. We have a. It's called competition, and we just get in there and we chirp at each other about who sucks at recovery and who's not working hard. So it's pretty funny. Every every uh, week it comes out with winner of the week. Winner of the week. And so. uh, it's it's cool. So. Anyways, be on the lookout for the, the the code at the bottom. That'll be a free 4.0 and a free month for you for you can use it so you can use it but again after you've used it i would highly recommend that you do the 24 month 24 because Best it saves value. you a lot of money in the long term and it's a product that you will absolutely love it's very intuitive the website is more in depth than the app the app is more general has tons of great information in it. but if you ever if you're a like a, a tech geek and want to dive deep into what your body is doing the website's the way to go so yep. that's whoop the website is W H O O P whoop.com. Whoop.com. The next thing that we have is the perfect swing. This is the Swing Path Trainer. This is the version three right here. I've seen these things for three or four years now at almost every trade show that I've been to, every convention I've been to. And it's always intrigued me. I used to do a drill, I'd have two T's. One of them would be higher than the other one. The one closest to me would be the highest one. And there would be a ball on the other tee and I'd have to hit the other ball without hitting the ball off the first tee. So it was really helping me get 
that kind of angle with my bat so I could stay even with my shoulders and through the ball. And this thing is basically the same thing, but instead of it having to be on plane right here, you have to be on plane all the way back through here. You can't come in heavy because you'll hit this bar. You have to stay flat through it and all the way through it. Uh, one of the things with this that I really like is the ability to move it around. So right here, if you watch, I can take this and I can flatten it out. So if it's a high pitch, you want a flat angle. Low pitch, probably a little bit more steeper. And then this thing also moves around. So if you're lefty, I can take this and I can move it around here. And then this pitch right here is going to be pretty loud, but it moves all the way down there and it moves up, up at the top too. And another cool thing, this one that I have on right now is what you use if you don't have like a ball, like if you don't want to hit a baseball, if you want to take dry cuts, you can hit this and this thing will not break. I've never seen one break, never heard of one breaking. I've hit this thing right there as hard as I could one time on accident and it did not break. So another cool thing is that you can switch it out. So if I take that, I just unlocked it. No, I didn't. There, I unlocked it. And then you take this, I'm gonna show them. Nope. You put it like that and you can lock it in right there, pick up the other head, tilt it back and then lock this one in. And then you can put a ball right there on that tee and hit. So it's a pretty cool contraption here. Um, very easy to move. I'm not like trying to lift it up so they can see the base. It's right now sitting on two stools, so it's a little wobbly. But go ahead, yeah. It's cool. It's got like that's hydraulics. It's it does there. have a hydraulic that's on. That's funny. It. So it's like that's it's well not crafted. not hard to move at all. It's not like I'm having to like really pull in order to move it. Like that's one finger, and you can tilt it around, move it everywhere. It's not heavy either. Like this is. They've done a great job it's with heavy home. Home. And so <clears throat> the, the cool thing about it, right, and especially for the home environment, if you wanted to, we're fortunate enough to have a, a big living room area. If he wanted to, he could take dry cuts using that, that one attachment and do that all day long in here, or he could take it into the garage. You know, if he wants to see ball flight, you could use it here. But again, this is working the angle. That's the angle yeah. of where the ball is, away, middle, in, and then staying through the zone, not crashing down or dipping under. Because a lot of times you're going to see, you'll see a lot of these trade shows, kids knocking the hell out they of them. They nail it. It's, it's crazy how often they hit it. So like I just grabbed the bat. If I were to take this, it's going to be a little bit oh, tall for me, so I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. But if I was going to swing at this pitch right here, I would have to stay flat through here, not drop the barrel. If I drop the barrel, I'd... Forgot it was on a stool. On a stool. And when I drop it and I hit this, I'm gonna know. The bat's gonna come flying out this way, or this is just, it's really loud. That's one of the things that I like about it. If you have barely made contact with it, I'm gonna hear it and I'm gonna know. I'm gonna feel it and I'm gonna know. So I'm gonna go here, stay flat, flat, flat barrel through, make contact, and then push through. Um, and then if I come in too steep right here, I'm gonna run into this thing, this thing at the top. Uh, this thing, when I swing it, if I've, I hit it once or twice, it flies off. So it's like, it's not a subtle thing. It's just, if I hit it, I know. I'll know instantly. If I drop, I know instantly. And then also you can kind of feel and hear if I hit it fat. So like if I come in here and I hit low, it's a way different noise than if I hit square. So uh, really cool audio feedback and visual feedback. And you can just feel it. Like you can literally feel if you're doing it right. So it's one of these things where you can kind of like go by yourself. Like it's one of those things that I'm big on where you don't have to have a coach sitting there watching you, you can develop good habits. On the best own. tools out there are the ones that you can do and they're self-teaching. It's the best tools. You don't need somebody because then you rely on that outside source to verify what are we doing, how did it look, what, is it, what should I do? You're learning for yourself, you're on swing. You learn better, you learn faster. So this is a cool tool. Um, finally got, uh, finally picked one up for myself. I've only been able to use them at trade shows for the past couple of years and now that I have one for myself, I'm, very, very excited about it. Website so, is? PerfectSwingUSA.com. This thing goes for $349. Uh, it's built like a tank. They got metal here. I've never seen, no matter how hard a kid hits this thing, I've never seen one fall over. So, um, One year warranty? Built like a tank. Um, you can put baseballs, wiffle balls, anything up here. You can hit it. And I mean, I've never seen anything break on it. Um, haven't seen any issues with mine either. So and they had that. Take that one down. Take, take. this. Take this off. <clears throat> there you go. There you go, son. Cool. 
There you go. I, just, I forgot that it moves with me. So, and then the last thing that they, they've done is they've, we saw this at the College World Series, was it two years ago or one year ago? Uh, two. Two years ago. <clears throat> they had a prototype of this sucker, which is the Tempo Trainer. It's pretty bendy. Pretty bendy. It? Take it. So the biggest thing for this is a lot of people don't understand the difference. We talked about it earlier between drag and lag. If I go here and I go around, this bat is dragging through the zone like this. It's bent and it's dragging through. The difference between drag and lag is lag is staying in here. The barrel is going to be, if I swing fast, my barrel, with this bat especially, it's going to be pinned pretty much where my shoulder is at all times. So if I swing it here, this thing is going to be pulled back like here. And when I get here and I stop, my hips, I stop rotating, the barrel goes flying. It goes forward. That's how you get pop. The ball goes forward. The bat goes forward, I mean. But if so I'm wait, here, you, have to, you have to stop your hip? Yeah, you got to stop everything. The hands So go. you're rotating ground up, rotation, hips turn, torso turn, shoulders turn, everything's... Yeah, so drag, if I were to do the same exact thing, so this is lag in here, barrel's gonna be behind if I swing fast. If I go here and I go out here, so if I start in and then I go out, this barrel is now gonna be, still gonna be behind, but I'm gonna really feel how you're long pulling it. It's gonna, it's gonna go out feel that way going instead out, of away. towards the ball. So. This is a really good tool for feeling. Once again, it's like one of those things where it kind of teaches yourself. Like you can kind of feel what feels good to you, what feels bad. And then if you actually hit, they come with wiffle balls. It's very, very hard to do. Um, hard to control the barrel with this. And it's a skinny barrel with skinny wiffle balls. So you have to really pay attention. Uh, one of the things that I also like about the wiffle balls, uh, they're in the garage right now. You can see spin. Like if I top a ball, I know. Yeah, they have a video instantly. that they just posted on their Instagram account of doing a split screen and then throwing the curve ball, and you can see the curve ball coming in and cutting, and then the guy taking an oppo, yep. you know, the curve ball away, and then the guy takes an oppo, which is really cool to see. So, uh, okay. website perfectswingusa.com, the Tempo Trainer 159. So, uh, that's it. You got anything else for the Christmas? That's gonna be it for the video, guys. Um, we covered a ton of stuff. This video is gonna be probably. What do you a think, long, an hour long? I bet you it's going to be 35 minutes. It's going to be very long. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, I kind of trashed our kitchen for this. We got a bunch of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a great holiday season and a very Merry Christmas. If there's something that you guys uh, are curious about, we missed, or you have some ideas for next year, uh, drop them in the comments below. We love the comments, love the ideas, and as always, love the support. If there's something that you guys are interested in that you know we have that we just didn't cover, also drop it down below and we'll answer anything about it that we know about it. So, um, yeah. Thank so, you guys for watching. Merry Christmas and God bless y'all. Have a great holiday season. See you later. Bye.